Bro, I'm gonna end it all. <laughs> Guys, thank you for telling me I was muted. I didn't realize. <laughs> um, okay. This is probably the third time I've done this. Anyways, hello. Welcome to the YouTube stream. Definitely didn't start off muted. Um, I'm really excited for today's stream because I didn't watch the Genshin Impact live stream or any of the character demos. So I don't really know anything, to be honest. I started a new job recently, so I've been kind of busy with that. So I didn't have a chance to watch, but honestly, I feel like we're gonna get a much more raw reaction because I know nothing that's about to happen except that Scaramouche shows up and Dottori shows up. So I'm going in blind and I'm kind of excited because I haven't gone in blind for a quest, I think like ever, to be honest. So I'm excited. Um, I do want to take a look at my boy, Sino. Hope you're feeling better, Leah. So glad you're streaming. Thank you. Yeah, I got my booster and it kind of kicked my ass. So <laughs> I'm just very tired, but it's okay. We have like hella wishes also. So I'm kind of pumped about that. Let me know. Whoa. I didn't realize how many wishes I had. We're so getting him. I'm very excited. Let me know if you guys can hear it as well. It's kind of quiet for me. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the volume up a bit for me personally. Are you pulling? I am pulling. I really like his vibe. There we go, that's louder for me. I like his vibe. He looks cool. 129, I haven't had this many wishes in a very long time. So let's do some quick little pulls and then we're gonna jump into the quest. If you wanna skip this in the VOD, um, you, there'll be a timestamp you can just skip to. But I'm excited. So let's do some quick little quirky little pulls for the boy, all right? Hi, Zaoculus, how are you? All right, we're doing some pulls. No fucking way, you're lying. You're, you're, you're lying, bro. You're for real lying. There is no way. There is no way. There is no way. <laughs> there, this is a lie. Hi, Shinobu, hello. Hi, girly. You're lying! You're, li you're lying, bro. There is no way my first 10 pull with all those wishes. It's giving streamer luck, finally. I never have freaking streamer luck ever. You heard it here first, everyone. I got Sino in my first 10 pull and look how many freaking wishes I have. I cannot believe this just happened to me. I'm being so for real. What the hell? I'm like literally so shook right now. You guys have no idea because how? How did this happen? Look at him! Why didn't they give him like any, they need to start giving my boys a little bit, a little bit more definition. He looked like a piece of paper on his chest. It's so, the definition is so light, but it's okay, I love him. Not him giving feet pics for free. Anyways, I'm so excited. That was so crazy. I don't even know what to say. You're gonna go for a weapon or constellations? I don't know. I don't know, and guys, I didn't watch the demo. I don't know, and I didn't watch the demo and I didn't watch the trailer. So I don't know anything about this boy. I really don't. That's so crazy. Okay, I'm excited. Where is he? I don't even know. He's pole arm, right? What can I give you, a bestie? I can give you this for right now. I don't know. I don't know anything about him. So we're gonna learn together. Okay. What's this weapon look like? Is it kind of cute? Kind of fun? I don't know. Like it's kind of uggo. It's giving. What's that claymore? I hate. What is it called? Damn. I know. Okay, leave me alone. That's just like rude to greet me with that. It's giving unforged. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's good with EM and Endendro Electro teams. Well, I don't have Tignari, so that's going to be a little bit of a problem. Problemo. But it's okay. Looks like a boat or... What? Where am I? No, because someone was playing on my account because how am I over here? I need to talk to my brother. 
I feel like my little sister was playing on my account because I do not remember ending stream over here. <laughs> um, anyways, well, we have a teleportation point, but let's just start the quest, yeah? I've, we've waited long enough. No. Whoa, wait, there's a lot. Who's the character? Catherine, adventure takes courage. Not this again. Okay. Well, hopefully this isn't too long. Let's jump to it real quick. Shall we? God, are you guys excited for the update? I'm sorry I like dipped off the face of the planet during the most important anniversary stream. Um, but aren't you excited that I know nothing about this quest? Also, um, people did not like that I didn't like Tignari. And I just want to say that, you know, I got to be honest, I was a little harsh. And looking back at it, I still don't like him. So get fucked. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. But for real, he's just some pixels, guys. We need to we need to go outside and touch some grass. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> it's gonna be all right. You'll live. I promise. I want to take commissions. And you know what? If you guys like him, I'm happy for you. <laughs> I'm happy for you. I really am. And also, I gotta be, I gotta restate this again. It's not that serious. Like, I be joking about characters, making jokes, making fun of them. Oh, we're going to the quest now. We meet again. Anyways, all of this to say, I make fun of characters all the time. It's just funny. I'm, I'm not serious. I don't really hate them. So like we can we can coexist. It's gonna be okay. All right. Now let's get into the Archon quest. Hi, Catherine. Do you have any commissions for us today? What's going on? Commissions, huh? Hmm. Go talk to your boy Sino. That's the commission. Oh, how about this? Please attend the Academia's academic symposium this afternoon and recite a love poem on stage. A love poem. Wait. Say what now? Is Zhao here? Possible. Please also use your camera to capture the reaction of the audience upon finishing the poem. This is what am I doing? <laughs> An audience would definitely have a reaction. I have a lot of words to say about Zhao, so I'm honestly prepared. I see. It appears that you're not interested in this commission. In that case, please go to Port Armos and convince the Aramites there to spend some time volunteering at the local orphanage. There's hey, a that's not any better. What's going on? I'm so confused, bro. What are these commissions? Mm -hmm. I'm sure the mercenaries will have some interesting reactions as well. Uh, I'm a little confused. Just who exactly has been submitting these commissions to the Adventurers Guild? Mm. Oh, the commissioner? Mm, well, actually, Catherine I just wanted to see the is not Catherine, bro. I was gonna be like, oh, Nahida, that's how you, is that how you say it, pronounce it? She submitted them, but you know, I, I forgot that she can just be whoever she wants, bro. That's why she was so confused in the beginning. Oh my God, playing games, bro. I'm sorry. I don't know why. I don't know why that freaked me out. Like, I don't know why that made my skin crawl because she's very cute, but that like Catherine making that he 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 was honestly terrifying. <laughs> I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. <laughs> but hi, you're cute. Oh, look at her little eyes. Ah, so it's At Astra Abyssos. So I know, girl. Come on, we're just not realizing. Yes, I've been sleeping ever since we parted ways, and I even had a really, really long dream. So the Akasha can't take away the dreams of gods. It was another Ooh. dream about the Subzerus Festival, except it was a happy one. In my dream, I was sitting in the middle of a flower terrace, and everyone in Sumeru City was holding hands as they danced in circles around me. 
They danced round and round, and everyone looked really happy. She definitely got the heart of a child, bro. I to sit on a gigantic flower carriage. Bears, the knight of flowers, raised me really, really high above the ground. And I was throwing an endless amount of y'all the candies at the tree. She got a lot of time to dream. This is very in-depth. your dream is how the Subzeru's festival really should be. It's meant to be a joyous time where everyone gets together to celebrate your birthday. But in reality, it's not. Huh? Wasn't I describing a really happy dream? Not pity, Why are you bro. Looking at me like that? Sorry. Wait, could this be an example of the emotion known as pity? No, no, we are pitying you. That would only make everything worse. We just don't want you to feel too sad. By the way, have you had a chance to visit Dunyarzad? Dunyarzad! I forgot about my girly. So we haven't been able to check my gay icon. God, I love her so much. She was resting at the time. How's she feeling? Is stabilized. Ooh. However, since Elazar is a manifestation of the withering on the human body, we can only cure it by finding a way to take care of Ermin Salt's own withering. Ooh, so that means we can but cure Calais? I know I'm probably pronouncing her name wrong. I don't know why I can't say it. Planet. Scaramouche appears. <laughs> Never let me direct the Genshin quest, bro. <laughs> I'll just throw every character in immediately. Stop to the sage's activities. As for how we should pull that off, let's discuss it somewhere else. These legs were distracting me. Not like that. Not like that. I was just. Good point. Uh, sorry, adventurers. We're gonna be borrowing Catherine for a little while. I literally, Lumi's facial expressions always send me, bro. All right, act three, bro. Oh man, where's the girly? Hey. Let's continue our chat here. Okay, so do you have any ideas on how we can investigate the sages, Nahida? Actually, I've already done a little bit of work on that. But for now, I want to hear your thoughts. Oh, okay. I I'm on board with the possession, but I feel like a key figure is too much. So I feel like a student would be good. That's what I'm saying. She's gonna be like, "That's a stupid idea." I'm like, you're right. No way, that's too risky. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. It'd be too easy to get caught. Mm mm mm. No, it's not that. We shouldn't involve innocent students in this. A single mistake could completely ruin their lives. Doing that Damn. would be the safety of my people for my own selfish goals. How is that any different from what the sages are doing? My apologies, but girly. I Spoken like the god of Samaru. I didn't. I wasn't thinking that one through. I guess. Okay. Why don't we just do the question one? I feel like she doesn't want to possess anyone. Since we still don't know anything about okay. Kathral, every person in Sumer Okay, then. I've already tried that. Okay, so I none of them work. Okay, cool. <laughs> Even the core of 30 cool. cards. Intentionally so at least I don't feel super stupid. Tournaments. Just to, it just seems a little that bit. From the very beginning, they've been guarding against info leaks from the Akasha. The of Akasha. course, it could also be because they're weary of me. Ooh. Have you already caught the Sage's attention? I'm guessing not yet, but this trusting me would make perfect sense if they've ever paid attention. It's so to weird hearing Catherine talk before. like this, but I like. In any case, um, I probably can't take over their minds. Directly. Nahida, I can't think of anything else, bro. There's nothing else in my brain right now. Are we really out of ideas? Yeah, Nahida, we are. You're super smart, so you already have something in mind, right? Don't keep us in suspense. Spill the beans already. Let's go. According to a popular theory from the Bahumana Darshan of the Academia, rejecting impractical motions at the beginning of a planning session will give more weight to the actual purpose. Okay, so she just wants to see me make a fool out of myself. Gotcha. Cool. You don't have to use that kind of gimmick to make us take your ideas seriously. 
Well, I've been thinking that if I can't directly possess the leaders, and if I can't get ordinary people involved, yes, then I should find someone who's already involved, but hasn't decided to side with the sages. You're saying we should recruit a spy? Hmm. That does sound like a good Who's work. the spy? Oh, before coming back, we met someone, <gasps> and I'll hate them. He seems like he <sighs> the traitor. He's doing stuff behind the academia's back. They probably aren't in cahoots. Actually, he... I already have someone in mind. He hurt my feelings. A scholar named Sataria? Sataria. I might remember his now. Oh, that one. Thanks, Paimon. This is the one time Paimon over explaining something actually helped me out. You could even say we're old enemies by now. Just a drama queen. Still remembers the smug and mean way she always spoke to Nilu. You're right. She was rude. She's hella rude. I liked observing all kinds of people, and Sitaria has always stood out from the crowd. Why? She was born in the desert. And was hailed as their greatest genius. Her academic gifts allowed her special admission into the academia, and also gave her the opportunity to serve as the sage's assistant. Oh, Paimon didn't know she was from the desert. She must be pretty. Who's from the desert? Paimon feels like most of the desert people okay. around the city are working as mercenaries. The name Satara means star. When she lived in the desert, she shone like the brightest star in she the She sounds world. very important to have an NPC Later model. On, she was chosen by the sun. The star was given a place in the daytime sky to complement the sun's dazzling light. Mm -hmm. but soon after, the star witnessed the sun scorching the earth, which brought forth many disasters. The star began to waver. Instead of staying beside such a sun, wouldn't it be better to return and light up part of the night sky? But in the end, she couldn't give up the radiance of daytime. To cope with her shame, the star buried her guilt and closed her eyes. Oh. That's very sad. From the sound of it, Satari has just hung up on the research opportunities here. Hi, Spring. But she doesn't really support the academia. She still feels guilty about not doing more for the desert, right? She's just running away from her problems. Indeed. When they are presented with complex moral issues, many people will simply plug their ears and go with the flow until the problem can't be fixed anymore. Mm. She's she going through a it. lot of guilt, but before she realized it, she had already become the sage's accomplice. She can't deny her part in their schemes anymore. Yike, bro. She's in a tough position. Right. We must somehow make her face her problems again. Let's go to the that desert. Way, not only can we get useful intel from her, but she can also use it as an opportunity to redeem herself. Okay, okay. From I like the way you think. Sataria will take a day off from the academia every 10 days to do some shopping in the city. Tomorrow mm -hmm. afternoon just happens to be a shopping day for her. That'll be our chance. I'm ready. I don't know why I put my fists up. We're not going to punch her. Her, we come her and have a quick chat with a few of the vendors but, there. You know, we don't have to do that. All right. Let's go talk to them. Ugh, Zhao, I haven't seen you in a little bit. I still can't believe I have I got Sino in one ten pool. That's probably the best like I've ever had in my entire life playing this game. This should be Sataria's favorite fortune telling spot. Uh so should we ask the fortune teller about Sataria? No, I already have enough information on Sataria. The most important thing now is for you to pay attention to the vendor's talking style and key characteristics. Oh, she gonna possess him? Talking style and key And then talk to Sataria while she's possessing him? Have you become troubled over your fates? The divine voice of wisdom often echoes between mine ears. If thou be blessed today by the gods, I may be able to show you the way. This is a child. What? Really? Nahida, you've been whispering things She's to like, me? no. Shh. 
<clears throat> My friend here has some doubts regarding her future. Can we get a fortune reading for her? Shout to Catherine's voice actress. Hmm. Of course, of course. In that case. She's like five years old. That scared me. That was really loud in my ear. It would seem that Harut and Marut are quite wary of you. Perhaps at some time in the past, you have somehow offended the god. I mean, you could say that. Hmm. Only mocking the god of Animo, questioning the lord of Geo's financial savviness, and brawling with the god of Electro. Do those count? Hmm? <laughs> She's like, but the oh, nothing. Go on, pick an aspect for her to divine. <laughs> divine my prospect in love with Zhao. <laughs> You know me. No problem at all. <laughs> oh man. I don't have him in the back today, unfortunately. The gods have spoken. The truth shall be revealed. Ooh. One who is fated to cross your path will appear on on Huh? So <laughs> so many people for you. You know what? Hoyo first. I like you. I like the way you think. I like the way you think. I like it. What can I say? Look at me. How can they help themselves? Like. I know. Everyone's in love with me. It's crazy. <laughs> exactly, Maria. Exactly. Canon. So, well, that can't be helped. I love that, bro. I feel so like powerful right now. You were to <laughs> food for Harut and Marut on your next visit. Perhaps they could help you reverse the wheels. I'm good. I don't need to reverse anything. I like the way that things are going. <laughs> I'm liking that fortune, bro. I'm liking that fortune. Akeem. Hello. What's going on? Is this another one of Sataria's favorite stalls? Yep. If Sorry, I keep yawning, sword. guys. My booster's really getting to me. A lot when she first moved to Samari City, so she still comes by whenever she has time. When I start talking with them, listen carefully to the details of her conversation. Oh yeah, we need to pay attention. Oh, I forgot. Dear customers, yeah. you have to look at some pottery. We thought one of your great craftsmanship, so we specifically came to take a look. Oh, I recognize you. Aren't you Miss Catherine from the Adventurer's Guild? <laughs> Sounds like I'm in for some big My favorite business. little robots. Speaking of, where did you learn this trade? I suppose you could say it all started with my dad. He's a mason by trade, but I picked up an interest in clay while apprenticing for him. After that, I began making pottery Music. by myself in secret. And I simply changed trades when my works turned out well. Although it's a pity that I'm no longer making much use of the knowledge provided to me by the Akasha. It's okay, you don't need that. You're making a living doing something you love. Hmm. So is your father still working as a mason? Oh no, not anymore. A few years back, he fell from a I didn't, I thought it was mean more than he br Since breaking he his leg, and I was like, over all no way. Years, he's just enjoying the retired life in Port Ormos nowadays. Okay. I see. I found me quiz on this later. Some happiness in his retirement. I'll have someone in charge of logistics at the guild come by another day for some goods. We'll leave you to it. Take care now. No problem. Rest easy. All our goods are sure to meet your Kick out. Is that Goku hair? I don't know. Can we go Super Saiyan? I have never seen Dragon Ball Z. Oh, I can't say that. I'm gonna get more hate comments <laughs> now. <laughs> I mean, I love Dragon Ball Z, and I've seen every episode. This should be our final. Story. And Goku's a wonderful dad. Is always thinking of this restaurant when she's working at the academia, so she always comes by whenever she's out in the city. Nahida. You've really thought of everything. She is the god of wisdom. <laughs> it's my the laugh creeps me out. I don't know why. I 
there. I feel like I've seen you down by the docks before. Huh? Sorry, I don't quite remember. She's cute. I like if her. If I recall, you were having a discussion with someone about shipbuilding at the time. Leah, the biggest Goku stan. You know me. Oh, that's <laughs> that's <right>. me. <laughs> I've always been really interested in feats of marine engineering. After all, I grew up in Leeway Harbor and spent my entire I know Leeway. childhood staring at the I've ships there. going in and out of the port. I came to Sumeru to study, but failed to make it into the academia due to my lack of talent. Bro, F the academia. But I'm still discussing all kinds of problems with different scholars. And I'm continuing to study and perform research from the restaurant's basement. I'm sure I'll get to the academia after their next round of exams. I like her. What an admirable spirit for learning. Amazing. Uh, sure. But you'll find hardworking people wherever you go. So this restaurant has a basement as well? Huh. First I've heard of it. Leeway, only right. a BFF with Ning Wong, it's exactly. Open to patrons. Ever heard of Zhao? He is my boyfriend. No biggie. <laughs> I see. Yes, that makes sense. Well, no worries, Maria. Enjoy your show. night. <laughs> Thank you so much. As long as I can make it into the academia as an official student, I'll be happy. Sorry, my cursor is just in the middle of the screen that whole time. My apologies. All right, going back to reconvening over here. So was that everybody? Hope so. Mm -hmm. Three familiar faces should be enough for Sataria. Uh, what's the point of all the information we've collected? Nahida, you still haven't told us how you're planning <sighs> to make Sataria face her problems. Sataria is already used to avoiding her problems. So we must find a way to break through her usual sensibilities. Okay. I remember that you mentioned that the Aramites in Port Ormos are all making a fuss about the upcoming resurrection of the Scarlet King. Yes, the Scarlet King. I, it's all just I remember. A world of nonsense. The faith of her homeland may turn out to be Sataria's soft Ooh, spot. interesting theory. Oh, I don't think it's nonsense. I think it's. I think there's some truth to it. Although she knows she should return home to help the people of the desert, all she's done is conspire with the sages. If King Deshret was to criticize her actions. So, how do we set that up? Well, the Scarlet King is long gone, and Sitari is also too smart to fall for any simple tricks. Mm -hmm. If we simply engaged her under the guise of the Scarlet King's believers, she would definitely be weary of us. And we may not get anywhere. Mm -hmm. But if we were to borrow some of her close acquaintances to talk with her, I was her right. She's gonna possess them. Very different. Mm. So you mean you're going to possess those people we just talked to? Yep. Possess them through the Akasha, imply that they've already converted to the faith of the Scarlet King, and then convey our made-up will of the Scarlet King. Mm, as long okay. as everything goes smoothly. We'll get through to Sataria for sure. She'll never guess that we had anything to do Okay, with I like this plan. So that's how you're going to use all the info we collected on these people. It's so that you won't slip up and break form. Possessing them will only work if you can manage to pass on to them. Exactly. So, best of luck with impersonating them. Huh? Me? I knew you'd have to pay attention. Maybe I was listening. I should do my no ear. Problem at all. I was just share learning. all their senses with you once I possess them. As long as you're also wearing an Akasha terminal, the effect will basically be as if you've possessed them yourself. Got you. Okay. Oh, that is <sighs> convenient. But why does she have to do this? Can you do it yourself? Not just yelling at a god. We like to do that, huh? Well, I've been observing humans for a while. I've never been good at imitating them. Hmm. Hmm. You're not wrong. It's always <laughs> Paimon is so mean. Painfully obvious. Oh, all right, let's do it. If it was at all possible, I would have preferred to leave these people alone. But They'll be fine. Around, I probably should just accept it and push on. Yeah. All right. I'm ready. Favorite. We're only doing this I'm ready. everyone, and we'll only be borrowing them for a little while anyway. 
All right, then let's give her the gold tomorrow afternoon. Do 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 do. Oh, the music is so pretty here. Tomorrow, she's around twelve, I think. Sataria friends out of nowhere. Oh, you know Scarlet King? Suddenly I'm a loyal follower. Yeah, exactly. Ma'am, I don't know. I'm so confused. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I'm very confused. But I might just be dumb. So. How absurd. I know, I know. All right. Hello! Oh my god, I need to stop yawning. I had a whole pink drink. And I'm she's really pretty. I forgot. She's like she's oh, serving. She comes. Is here. Let's she's quietly so follow her. Once she starts talking to her acquaintances, we'll find a safe spot to begin possessing them. Mm -hmm. As for how we'll sway her to our side, I'll leave that. Oh here. no. I trust <laughs> Yeah, I know what to say. You know me. Let's go. And you know what? I'm not trusting chat because last time you guys messed me up on purpose. <laughs> oh my gosh. When we gonna start, girly? Now. Okay. Not the eyes. That was kind of crazy. Right. You really can't force anything when it comes to love. And besides, everyone around me has a very different background and outlook. Uh, mm -hmm. Are you still listening to me, Nabia? Oh, of course I'm listening. You were talking about troubles with your love life, right? I heard everything you said. Uh, okay, then. You just seemed a little distracted for a moment there. <laughs> Strange. The cats seem pretty worked up. Is something wrong? Damn. I always thought they were quiet, happy kitties. Oh, what are their names again? <laughs> okay, chat, like, I'm only asking you, like, one time. <laughs> what are they? Is it Haru and Maru? This is the only time I'm asking you guys, so like, don't say anything, okay? Be for real. Be honest. Don't lie to me. I'm seeing laughter, but I'm not seeing help. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a sip of my drink. Don't worry, don't mind me. I'm just thinking really hard. Haru and Maru? Okay, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, that's right. They are just little darlings. I was them. right. Okay, I need to trust my instinct. <clears throat> so, which fortune do you want me to read for you today? You must have come for another echo of the divine. Okay, voice I'm ready. I got this. I got this. I doubted myself, but I was right. I'd like to get another reading on my love prospects, but to be perfectly honest with you, I feel like I've been a real mess recently. Hmm. A mess? Well, um, could you do a reading on how long it'll take me to finish my current project at work? I really She's so pretty. I love her. I hear you. No problem at all. Uh, the gods will reveal the truth. Um... What are we doing? She didn't. I don't remember this part. The gods are asking, Sataria. Why haven't you gone home? Why haven't I gone home? Do the gods really know everything I've been thinking about? They do. Sitaria, why don't you just go home? It's a demand now instead of a question. Oh, the gods seem to be truly upset. Uh, huh. uh, I'm sorry. I know I failed the gods. Please pass on my most sincere apologies this poor girly, and ask for divine forgiveness. I'm sorry, girl. And if I may ask, Nabia, is there a specific god who's speaking to you right now? 
How do I say this? Huh? Hmm. What an inconsiderate and naive question. The God who is speaking to me is, of course, the wisest and mightiest of all, the Scarlet King. The S Scarlet King? No wonder he would make such a demand of me. Oh, wait a second. The Scarlet King passed away a long time ago. Even though news of the Scarlet King's resurrection has been spreading like wildfire, it's all just a misinformation campaign from the Academia. How can the Scarlet King still exist in real life? From the Academia? Interesting. What insolence. I am the Scarlet King's most loyal believer. Do you wish to refute his voice of wisdom? Oh, no, no. As a child of the desert, I am only reveling in his power upon learning that his divine glory has touched even this city. <sighs> I will think very carefully about his demand of me. I'm sorry. I must go now. Uh, wait. No payment? Hmm. She was looking. Just ran off in a hurry. She looked pretty upset too. Well done. We're getting to her. Aria didn't seem to suspect anything amiss. To have something she's been trying desperately to avoid show up out of nowhere and berate her, that must have shaken. Look <laughs> at the girl in the background. She's like, "What the heck just Aww, happened?" Mahita, it seems like you understand human emotions really well after all. All right. I know there's some abstract Haribo top theories. And in any case, my time with you has shown a lot of them to be utterly useless. I'm still trying to make sense of everything. Anyway, enough of that. Let's hurry and catch up to Sataria. I really like Sataria's design. You know what? I feel like for NPC design, they really right stepped it up you. with her. Let's get ready to possess him right away. Okay, I'm here. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Let me remember. His dad retired in Port Orm Ormos. They're really killing it with the animations this time, too. It's okay. I just got caught up in something. Oh, mm -hmm. actually, didn't you ask me to help you look for work? What kind of work were you looking for again? Well, his dad was a mason. But he wasn't doing masonry anymore, but gardening's out of nowhere. I'm guessing masonry. Oh, right. Your old man's Okay, 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 okay. okay. I was right. I forget. I was right. Speaking we got this. Of, we got this. How's he doing? Is he feeling any better? Yeah, he's walking more now. Oh, that's good to hear. Ugh! I am eating, bro. If he get some more time off. I'd love to pay him a visit. Okay. Actually, while we're talking about him, is he still living in Port Ormos? Yeah, he's obsessed yeah, with the Scarlet he's King. He's been retired there for a while. If you could find the time, please write him a letter. Please pass on that recently, faith in the Scarlet King has taken root in Port Ormos and has begun to spread across Sumeru. He has a quick temper and has always been a devout follower of the Dendro Archon. I don't want him to get into a fight with uh. Scarlet King believers because of a difference in beliefs. Oh? So... Who are you siding with in all of this? The Academia or the Scarlet King? Uh, I... <sighs> I'm so jealous of you. You were born a child of the desert. Yet you chose to betray the Scarlet King. And now you spend all your time with those crooks from the Academia. We're laying it on thick, Academia. damn! You don't mean you've also become a believer of the Scarlet King? What's so strange about becoming a believer of the wise Scarlet King? In fact, aren't you the strange one? The one who still can't pick a side? Who can't pick a side? Me? She oh, said bye. Herman had no idea you'd be so she said, I'm out of here. I kind of feel bad for him. <laughs> Before I knew it, I really started getting into the role. <laughs> really right that was funny. Feel a bit overwhelming for Sataria. But once everything is over, Ow. I'll be sure to pay her a visit to her mind and explain everything. Anyway, okay, that's good. Let's keep she's going. a good she's a good god, you know. 
Doom, doom. Oh, I need a follower. I'm gonna lose her. Come on! Satoria's already started to help you. With the Gorly. Alright. So, I like her. She's Sean. Have you noticed anything weird in the city lately? Like, as if someone was trying to preach to you about something? No, I've been spending all my time studying in the basement. Oh, right. Speaking of strange things, I celebrated the Subzerus festival so many times that I lost count. That was really weird. Wait, how could you be aware of that? That should be impossible. Nothing in the report indicated anything like that. Huh? Are you still failing to realize that the Academia's lowly tricks could never deceive all of Sumeru's citizens? Jishan, uh, uh, don't tell me that you've converted to the Scarlet King as well! What an absurd question. You make it sound like I should be ashamed for becoming a believer of the Scarlet King. In reality, shouldn't you be the one who is ashamed? You, who worked side by side with the Academia, and treated people as nothing more than experimental subjects? Yo, we are please, reading please her! Stop. We are reading her today! She gonna cry, bro. Oh, no, is still trying to run from her Did I push you hard, Lumine? I think so, but it's okay. Oh, she can no longer justify everything to herself. <laughs> that was crazy. What Ooh, what's she saying? This is the most important part of all. Quick, get ready. Okay. Mercenary, you're a member of the Corps of Thirty, correct? Please help me pass a message to the Matra right away. The situation in the city is getting out of control. Please, I never talk try to, her. to remain calm, miss. Tell me what's happening in the city. Heretics are infiltrating the city, and they've already converted many residents to their side. Heretics? What kind of heresy are you talking about? The Scarlet King! Many people I know have suddenly started believing in him, but he's long dead. It's impossible. Miss Sataria, nothing is impossible. Period! You know my name? The Scarlet King is immortal, and all who defy him will one day pay the price. You must face the truth, Sataria. You tread a treacherous path, and the longer you ignore it, the tighter the academia's grasp on you will become, and the deeper you will be ensnared. Child this is crazy, bro. King, never forget that the desert that belongs to you lies elsewhere. What's so strange about becoming a believer of the wise Scarlet King? In fact, aren't you the strange one? The one who still can't pick She's a She's gonna name? sob, bro. What an absurd question. You make it sound like I should be ashamed for becoming a believer of the Scarlet King. Tataria, why haven't you gone home? Th this is like... <laughs> we are killing this girl! that no matter where I run, I only keep finding more believers of the Scarlet King. I have to say, this is a familiar feeling. Inter I'm, I'm so interested in the fact that the Academia is the one pushing this narrative about the Scarlet King, though. Part in the Sage's plans, and from ignoring the letters from the children of my homeland. Ignoring the letters? No matter how much I may try to ignore and get rid of it, my guilt always comes back. You should follow your heart. You won't necessarily lose your research opportunities by facing the truth. Besides, did you really want to conduct your research while carrying such heavy feelings of guilt? <sighs> How do you know me so well? Are you truly just a believer of the Scarlet King? Or are you the god himself? That's not important. The important thing is to pass judgment on the Academia and its sages, and to correct their mistakes. If you could provide some assistance in this matter, perhaps it could serve as a form of atonement. I've actually never believed in the gods, but I've always believed in serendipity. Your appearance must be a fated opportunity for me to get out of this. She doesn't believe in the gods, bro, but they exist. Like, there's no disputing that. What can I do for you? Great, we finally convinced her. <clears throat> How much do you know about the sage's current activities? I was just one of the designers for the Mast Dream Harvest scheme, which is what happened around the Subzerus Festival. But I know very little about the full scope of the overall project. 
I'd assume that only staff with the highest clearance would have access to those confidential documents. I had just been working to meet the Grand Sage's specified requirements. However, there's something that's been really bothering me. I heard that a scholar who was previously expelled has returned to the city. And even the sages are still quite wary of him. Okay. Also, guys, just a reminder. Well, reminder number one, like the video. Um, reminder number two, I haven't watched the trailer for this at all. Like, I, I didn't see the live stream. So I don't know anything that's happening or anything about the plot. So I'm getting excited now as we're getting into it. To fight against the academia, we will need to figure out the nature and the purpose of their work. Is there a way for us to get access to the confidential documents you mentioned? It should be possible if we're willing to take some risks. After all, I'm an assistant to the Grand Sage, and I've been working on many We really got her. Of the project. We got it. One thing, though. I won't be able to transfer the documents to you through the Akasha once I get my hands on them. The Sages have always closely monitored all activities within the Akasha. Um, let me see. Uh, let's use the most primitive method. Send someone to pick up the documents tomorrow evening at the Academia entrance. The Academia entrance? Wouldn't that be too conspicuous? Don't worry about that. I assure you, this won't be a trap. I'm only suggesting this location because it'll draw more scrutiny for me to leave the Academia again. It'll be safest for me to distract the guards long enough to hand you the documents. Interesting. Right. I trust you. So... If I were to successfully complete this task, would it mean I've atoned for my wrongdoings? Um, that'll depend on the judgment of the Dendro Archon. The Dendro Archon? That's right. Her people are the ones we have endangered. As the God of Wisdom, she's also the one responsible for judging and guiding the scholars. Maybe it's time for me to find a god to believe in. I like her. We've managed to bring Sataria to our side. The Traveler's execution was ingenious. She's the one who deserves all the praise. Well, now that we've made plans to meet again tomorrow evening, all we can do is pray for Sataria's mission to go off without a hitch. Fingers hey, crossed, bro. What if we're going to pray to the gods? <laughs> you, God of Wisdom and Guardian That's of funny. the Scholars? You got a point, Paimon. <laughs> The truth is the true guardian of scholars. I've always believed that. Anyway, let's meet again tomorrow evening at the Adventurer's Guild. Hmm. This is fun. I feel like we're about to get into something juicy. Oh, what time did it say? 19, 19 o'clock. Hold on, it's gonna freeze for a second. Okay, there we go. All right, it's time. All right, we got a little achievement. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Oh my gosh, my nose is like very stuffed right now. This is 19. Oh, it's tonight. Duh. My bad. My B. Guys, look at this Pocky I got. It has a little, little Dracula on it. Isn't that cute for Halloween? Yeah, just showing you. Just thought you'd like to see it. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Yellow! What's up, Catherine? I'm gonna get my cursor out of the middle of the screen. You are the other Catherine, right? That's right. I suppose I'm the other Catherine in your mind. Can't we just call her Nahira? Nahira? So we need to protect Catherine's identity. Okay, girly. Okay. It might be. We cannot fully rule out the chance that the meetup tonight is just a trap. Yeah, I feel like it's a trap. If something were to happen, 
My existence may be the only trump card we'll be able to play. After all, the Academia should still be unable to confirm the existence of my consciousness in the outside world. Ooh. Yep, yep, exactly. Just what Paimon was thinking. Yeah, sure. Mm, anyway, <laughs> enough about that. Let's just make sure to be on our guard. Speaking of which, don't you feel like something's off? off? What do you feel is off? It's just a little too quiet around here. It's the middle of the night. Of course it's quiet. You're not getting paranoid, are you? I don't know, girly. I think she's right. It really is a lot quieter than usual. Right, bro. If you look around, there seems to be fewer people on the streets. I'm not sure if this is the case. Maybe that girly city, is yeah. smarter than we think. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Maybe Sataria figured out a way to not no. only distract the guard, I but think also to get it's a trap. Early, just so we can exchange the documents in peace. I, I also can't quite smart. figure out why things feel a little off. But now that we're here, let's go ahead and meet her as we plan. Something's wrong. As long as you're here with us, Paimon feels a little safer. Something's incorrect. And I'm just saying that now. I feel like this is a setup. Why are we going? There really aren't many people. It is right empty. Now. Let's hope it'll be this quiet in front of the academia and that Sataria managed to distract all the guards. It is empty, bro. What the hell's going on? Oh no. It's gonna get they're gonna sumer it all up again. Why am I scared? Like I'm for real kind of nervous. It's going to be Scaramouche at the top, and he's going to go, you're big, dumb, and stupid, and I win. I have all the Gnosis, and I'm the unknown god, and then he's going to kill us, and that's the end of the game. That's what I think is going to happen. How about you guys? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Unless. Oh, no, it's cutscene time. What are we looking at? What are all these people doing here at this hour of the night? Uh -huh. Oh no! Ah, the triumphant hero returns at last. And to a rather spectacular welcome, even if I do say so myself. Oh! Oh no! He's here! We don't even see his Although face. these days, they tend to call me the doctor. Oh no, he's so hot! <laughs> don't talk if to me you're like that! For your researcher friend, she has already been taken into confinement. With some basic caution, she could have discovered the listening device on her person. Clearly, she lacks the degree of rigor expected of a true scholar. No, because I'm obsessed. Yike, bro. The people of Samir City. They're being controlled. What have you done to them? I simply made some minor adjustments to their Oh, he's so evil! Now they can deposit information directly into the subconscious. As you he's so see, evil. All these lovely people now believe this traveler is a hero who has just <laughs> saved the world. <laughs> uh. My experiment is a success. And now it seems they can no longer hold back their sheer oh power. my god I'm obsessed with them okay no, what we do? he's an awful human being but also like I'm obsessed with how yeah, evil he is we need to get out of here but that guy's a Fatui Harbinger we can't just leave you here oh he's gonna be like let me take that little gnosis the people of Samaru let me she said I'll take that little gnosis real quick that's what he's gonna do let me just snatch up. Don't worry. We'll meet again outside of the city. I see. You appear to have overridden Don't their mental his faculties voice, with your bro. Own consciousness. To possess such a powerful mind, you must be. The God of Wisdom. 
Ugh. Oh my god! Oh my god! He's so evil and so conflicted. <laughs> but child is bad. But Senor was bad, but also hot, so we let it slide. So maybe we can let it slide for him. <laughs> oh my god. No, but Nahida's a real one because she really put her life out on the line. But I'm telling you, he's going to snatch up that Gnosis. Like, what even was the point? What even was the point? Because he's he's going to go, mm, you're the god of wisdom. It's going to make a popping sound. Go, and he's going to take that little Gnosis out. He's going to be like, bye. I'm just telling you what's going to happen. Anyways. <laughs> oh, you're valid for hating him, but I don't know. Something about him. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I don't have fully developed thoughts on him yet. I'm conflicted. That guy was pretty terrifying. Pretty too, <laughs> for real. We can't even see his face. I'm like, oh my God, he's so hot. <laughs> I just cannot even see anything, any facial features, except the lips that everyone else has. <laughs> um, She can jump between minds. Hopefully she'll be fine. I'm not sure. That guy was pretty terrifying. I'm not scared of no man. So. <laughs> Oh, good point, Strawberry. It's just her mind that's in Catherine. I don't know. I feel like they'll figure it out. <laughs> he called himself the Doctor. Remember, Tainari told us about him. Satoria did say that someone who once got expelled from the academia came back recently. Why did he put a listening device on her, though? Hmm. Yep. Sounds like she must have been talking about the doctor. We underestimated the number of parties involved. He's so hot, girl. He looked like a mosquito. I think it's the hair. It's the hair and the voice that are, I'm like, ew. <laughs> That's all it is. But it's, maybe we'll move past it. Maybe I'll hate him. Okay, we have to see how the story develops. Yeah. Okay. No formula, formulated future. opinion yet. No longer just dealing with the academia. They're in cahoots with the I already know. I already know the comments. What are the Fatui after this time? Another Gnosis? I already know the comments are gonna be like, wow, crazy that she hates Tignari, who is simply an acade academic trying to take care of a sick little girl. But all of a sudden she sees evil Dottori who terrorizes multiple people and he's hot. Okay, this girl, tell me you don't know anything about the lore without telling me you don't know anything about the lore. <laughs> I'm saying it now. We do not care. I just gonna take a little nap, quick little nap. All right, let's start our own investigation. De -de 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 -de. Oh, brother! <laughs> no fucking way, bro. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Oh, Let's go. Project when we were staying with him in the Vidia Forest? That has to be the same project. Even though he turned again. Oh man. What are the chances, bro? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> oh man. We're having a good time. <laughs> I manifest. <laughs> oh my god. I meant to press W. <laughs> Let's get out of here. I'm going through it. What the hell? That was a, a really broad range of emotions in like five seconds. <laughs> Anyways, how are we doing chat? How are we feeling about the quest so far? How are we doing? <laughs> oh no, guys, I'm gonna be really nice, okay? I'm gonna be really nice to Tignari. I'm gonna try my, I'm gonna try really hard, okay? For you guys, for you guys, all right? Oh man, I'm so glad I wasn't, 
Hello? I'm not even gonna try to figure that out. <laughs> I was so glad I wasn't like streaming Genshin when I first met Child. Because if you guys think I don't like Tignari, wait till that man show up in the story again because you think I'm not nice now. You should hear the things I've said about that, that awful, awful man, bro. <sighs> Hold it right there. A blonde haired traveler and a floating fairy. We've got. Bro, I'm gonna beat you up so quick. Take a look around. You fall Bye, right Addy. I'll see you later. Trap. Are you mercenaries oh no! Three men! Be for real. Core of 30? We're nothing like those government lapdogs who don't even get scraps for their work. Sorry. We are an elite brigade that commands the highest commission rate in all of Sumeru. We're here on the orders of a client known only. Oh, is who is behind the guy behind me? Scared me. An Sounds like the doctor. Well, you know what? I'm about to serve you a plate of. You know what? I'll just never mind. I'm just gonna beat you up. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Why wouldn't the doctor just send the Fatui after us? Hmm, muy interesante. Good question, Paimon. Maybe he's taking advantage of the academia's resources. I don't know, actually. Still wasting time on idle chit chat. We'll shut you up. Bro, soon. you're an NPC. Get them. It's gonna be over for you so quick. It's disgusting. Uh, Unless killer. plot is against that happening. Let me be a lawn real quick. Cool. I haven't played this game in a while. Ooh, 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 she a little too fast sometimes. Okay, bro, switch. Oh, this is the worst angle imaginable. Can you guys tell I haven't played this game in a while? God, this is embarrassing. I can't see shit. I should just use Xiao and get it all taken care of. Does Xiao's... Oh, it's a normal attack thing. Ooh! Not you getting a little hit in. You thought that was gonna be it. I am not scared of you. I need to put Raiden back on this team, though. I don't know. Who do you guys like better on this team? Yelan or Raiden? I originally had Raiden with this team. I don't know them. It probably won't be long before we see more. That was not that rough. I think I beat them pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what you're talking about, but. Yeah, looks like we'll have to keep our guards up. But okay. This doctor guy seems like a pretty tough opponent. He knew exactly where to set up an ambush. Did he predict that? <laughs> Your love for Tignari is making you kind of nervous. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. I just love him so much. Anyway, you're right. <laughs> I'm just so nervous to see the love of my life. <laughs> oh, man. Probably like that was tough, yet she did no fighting and disappeared. No, because I... Another one. Not me almost pushing him off the edge. <laughs> Tignari! Tignari, it's me. Your love. The love of your life. Hi, girly. Speaking of people oh, I like. It's the traveler in Paimon. What are you two doing back here? It's an emergency. Hooray! It's nice to see you again. We don't have time for chit chat. Like, the god is in danger. To be honest, I'm not doing too well. My Elizar has been progressing. Oh, you can't do this to me. I'm finding it harder to complete more intricate tasks. She's so As beautiful. A result, Master Tainari is taking me off the patrol schedule. He will only allow she me looked... to stay here. Oh, is this the way her eyes are? She looked tasks. tired. Oh, Kale. Poor girly. It seems that curing Ermin Tool is our only chance. Of Tainari, did he go off on patrol? We need to talk to him. He's got to be in danger, bro. Oh, Master Tainari? He just left the Avidia Forest a little while ago. He was headed to Party CI. Where is that? He left? But isn't Tainari always saying that he never wants to leave the Avidia Forest? He even turned down the Sage's invitation. I thought it was weird too. 
Master Tainari always prioritizes his work as a force. Something is going on. He almost never leaves his post. He left in a hurry this time, though. Something's up. He didn't give a reason. I only found out that he left through a message he left behind. He also made sure to delegate all his tasks using a schedule. Of course he did. <sighs> to leave in such a hurry? I guess he had something urgent to take care of. All right, let's go find him. Master Tainari originally studied in the Amorta Darshan of the Academia. And part of the eye is something like the Amorta's research base. It's getting to Tori I'm plan, not gonna lie. I know, something's fishy. Research. I know that before he became a forest watcher, Master Tainari once spent a long time conducting research of part of the eye. Okay. Research base, huh? Gotta wonder what kind of research Tainari just decided to work on all of a sudden. Oh, we don't have a lot of time, so let's go look for him at Party CI. Sorry, I'm just jamming to my own music in my head. You know me. This sniffles is getting to me. Please okay. take care of yourself, girly. Don't worry. I'm, if anything I'm, happens to I'm you, to living with Elazar by now. I will to kill the Tori and then myself. Guards. In the game. Got it. Will do. See you later, Kale. Bye, Kale. I. Please be okay, because I really like you. Why is this bitch always busy? Like... Can you be... Honest? The start of contamination. I just talked to her. What are you talking about? Anyways. Victoria is really the second harbinger. Always thought that Capitano would be the second one. Interesting. All right, Catherine. Let Zhao, please. Catherine, let's speed it up. Yep. Sorry that I'm not really... Sorry to skip. But... I've got a very important... Do I need to do it? Okay. Is this a different one to talk to her about? Traveler, you've come at a good time. Oh, it's a different quest. like another commission. It is as you say. The commission this... Okay, the inhabitants. Sorry for skipping this, guys. I just want to make sure that we get to the quest. Okay, it's contaminated. I don't know about the specifics. The Avidia forests inhabit. That's why I want to ask you to investigate the situation. This is forest business. Not to... It's going to be like, Tignari's involved in another quest. Come on. Don't be like that. Well... Sorry for the bots, guys. I guess they just think I'm really hot and attractive and they want you guys to see other hot and attractive people on their website. I don't know what's wrong with them. I don't know why they think this is the place to advertise it. I give off the vibes, I guess. Oh, we got a way to go. Let's go, yeah? We got some walking to do. Yeah. How we feeling, chat? What's going on? <laughs> How we doing all their night? They think they can slay like now, you know, they can't. Girl, that's his mission? What do you mean? Oh, I see what you're saying. Well, but we're doing the Archon quest. Hopefully it doesn't give me a blocker again. Feeling nervous about things going on, yeah. We're feeling nervous. That's fair, honestly. Um, who's the best to, we can run as her for a little bit. Girl, I thought they fixed that. You haven't unlocked the waypoints yet? No, to be honest, after Subaru came out, like I started, I was on a break for a little bit and then I started a new job, so I haven't been able to play that much. So that's why you'll see a lot of stuff isn't um, working right now. But I'm going to have some more time to play now that I'm kind of like almost finished 
my onboarding for my new job. So that's why I just haven't had the time. And honestly, I've been really tired. I'm trying to get into like a new routine. Um, also, I've been playing a lot of Kingdom Hearts. Do you guys play Kingdom Hearts? Have you ever played it? Um, I got the remaster of the first one because, um, oh, hi guys. I played it when I was younger, but I never got to the Nightmare Before Christmas level and I love Nightmare Before Christmas. So I've been grinding a lot of Kingdom Hearts in my free time because I cannot beat the final boss. <laughs> Cause I need to play and whoa, we are yelling. I need to play more. Anyways, just letting you guys know what I've been up to. Kingdom Hearts is good. I am excited to play the second one. The first one is has been fun. Um, and it, I think it's too much for my brain to grind Kingdom Hearts, which is a PS2 game. Um, and then also grind Genshin, so I'm trying to take care of my brain cells. Um, fatigue has been killing me this week too. I don't know what's going on with like my brain, to be honest. My college is not letting, leaving me any free time for Genshin. Dude, sometimes it just be like that. Oh, you point. Pretty! Uh, very beautiful. I need to get the Statue 7 that's over here. Wait, look who it is. Catherine! Thank goodness you're okay. We were so worried I don't know. You. Something's up. You haven't been reprogrammed by the doctor, have you? Hey, this was supposed to be a touching reunion, but you're ruining I'm just business. making sure. Actually, it's very smart that the Traveler to be wary of me right now. After all, the doctor has shown that his technology can apparently even control human minds. You know, I don't trust her right now, I'll be honest. It's not like you could have known what happened after we split up and I was facing the doctor by myself. Mm -hmm. Even a pool of stagnant water after a torrential storm can occasionally pass as a patch of sky. Hmm. Paimon feels like only the real idiot <laughs> could up with such an obscure analogy. <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. Huh? But... I wasn't trying to win your trust or anything. All I wanted was to clarify my point. Yeah, we got gotcha. you. We got it. that point now. Please, Nahida, tell us more about what happened. Are those poor people all right? When you left, I was still in the middle of restoring everyone's minds. Thankfully, when the doctor mentioned depositing information into the subconscious, he didn't mean engraving information into their minds. Okay. Instead, he did something closer to creating hallucinations that was still within my power to fix. Interesting. Luckily, I managed to finish my restorations and mind jump away Sorry, from him like kind of just as he was about to capture me. Oh, what a relief. The doctor sure pulled out some hidden cards, but good thing we had Nahida with us. I wouldn't be relieved just yet. Why? I gave away my true identity when I restored everyone's minds. Which means we've lost another one of our trump cards. Mm. Also, the doctor is already an expert at modifying Akasha terminals. Maybe it's only a matter of time until he captures my consciousness <gasps> inside the Akasha. Oh no! If you know you'd no longer be able to jump between minds. Then how do we stop him? He's still at the academia, so it's possible he already started messing with the Akasha. Our position will only get worse with time. It's true. <laughs> Feels like he's toying with us. What a nasty piece of work. Plus, the doctor's combat ability alone is apparently enough to make him worthy of being number two of the Fatui. Yeah. And we shouldn't give up hope just yet. Let's try to find another way to attack this problem. Okay. Nahida, how did you know we were trying to get to Party Sti? Have you been waiting for us? Yes, I have. I can see the traveler's elemental energy. So I deduced your destination by looking at the direction you were moving in. Gotcha. You didn't come here for sightseeing, right? Did you find any leads? Hmm. We're looking for a scholar we know. His name is Tainari, and the sages once tried to reach out to him. Why don't you come inside with us and see what we can find? Okay. Let's just hope we won't get him into trouble. Uh, we can try. I, 
I see what the developer said in one interview. They stated something about the more powerful ranking carbingers using mine instead of physical force. Ooh, interesting. Nice tidbit, Aga. Thank you. I like that. Do we know who number one is? Like, am I just forgetting or do we not know that yet? Because uh, the Saritza isn't a harbinger, obviously, right? I don't know. I don't remember a lot, to be honest. Sorry if I forgot. Traveler? It is you! How do you know that before turning around? The voice! It's Hapasia! Long time no see, girly! What a pleasant surprise! It's so nice Piero? to see okay. you again. Who's this? She's a scholar we met in the Avidia Forest. When we last saw each other, she was still training in the... Uh... Hmm. What's it called? Satyavada life? Well, I see. That's right. We're old friends. Uh, you've come at just the right time. Ever since I've come here, hardly anyone has even talked to me. Oh. Pasia, you're way too excited about this. Actually, for you to leave the Avidia Forest means... Oh, you're not in training anymore? It's been that long? Wait, no. Did you already finish your training and reach Pariporna life? Hmm. Good question. <laughs> what do you think? My consciousness has already managed to make contact with the divine. Is that so? <sighs> you did it? Congratulations! I'm really happy for you, but that doesn't sound true because Nahida looking kind of crazy. <laughs> it's so exhilarating She's like, to share this sublime joy with others at long last. Uh, it's the Scarlet King. Contact with the gods. Ah, uh, what a supreme and Or it's the Tore. Womp, womp, womp. That sounds incredible. Actually, we're here for Tignari. Oh, all right. Uh, actually, please wait. I haven't forgotten my promise to you. <laughs> Need to be like, girl, stop lying, please. <laughs> I to help you understand what you saw from Ermansoul once I gained deeper insights. My current self has not only gained true insight, but I can even help you establish a direct connection to the consciousness of the divine. Why does she say that kind of evil? You, you can do that? Do you believe her? I've never heard of anything like that, but if you want to give it a try, I'll do my best to protect your consciousness during the process. Hold on. I brought some spirit Borneo with me. This is still a crucial part of the ceremony. Uh, Something's up. You're using that incense again? Something's up. All right now. Hold my hand. Something's I'll up. Help you establish a pathway to connect your consciousness. I don't trust her. Okay. Something's Are wrong. Ready? Something's incorrect. Something's wrong. I can feel it in my bones. Oh no, it's a cutscene. That's how you know something's wrong. It took three betrayals for me to finally understand. The world is just an elaborate tapestry of lies. My fury will never be quelled. <laughs> no way! Okay. The first to betray me was a god. <gasps> my creator. My mother. Oh my god. She saw no worth in me and I was discarded. <gasps> no, that's not what happened. The second was a human. My family. My friend. What'd he do? What'd he do? Consumed what happened? By fear, he saw me as an abomination. Wait, I feel bad for him. The third was one exactly like me. A hope for the future. A fledgling barely out of the nest. Powerless before his mortality. He broke oh, he his died? promise to me. Look at his little animation! They can't be trusted. And the gods fill me with pure loathing. So I said good riddance. <laughs> I denounced the world. And laugh in its face. 
Oh, this is awesome, dude. My worldly filth. I will scrub away every last trace of human emotion. Then it will be empty, a blank slate, and ready to receive a supreme gnosis, brimming with pure divinity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he there is has no need to fear. Lost it. The pain will be brief. Your era is coming to an end. Oh, that was so good. That was fire. That was fire. That was so good. That was so good. I'm obsessed. That was so good. Oh my god. That was, I'm like, I loved that. Like the animation, the characterization for Scaramouche, giving us some background, and his little smirk at the end. He's evil. I'm really excited. That was really good. That was really good. Did we actually just see the Belladere's memories? <sighs> Everything matches what we know about him. That was awesome. They're really the doing the most with the these new cutscenes and stuff, and you can tell. It's awesome to see. You saw it, right? You felt it, right? Oh, such a majestic god. Such a noble will. Such sublime emotion. She's losing it. The girl is oh, losing it. Shame. If only... She's losing it. If only that which beats within my chest wasn't a filthy mortal heart. Oh, oh great and merciful god. Please grant me forgiveness and salvation. I need Yay to hit him with a sandal. I'm so dead. I'm afraid this is no Piri Purna life, but rather. Oh shit. Wake up, Papasia. You. Why are you so mean to me? Why is everyone hiding from me? What's going on? I found divine wisdom. Shouldn't I receive praise and honor? Haven't I uncovered that light in the darkness? Girl, why are you looking around like that? Yeah. That's how I always thought everything should be. Wait. Huh. Have I already lost my mind? Yeah. <laughs> my bad, bestie. Okay. I'll see you later. See you after school, right? Cool. My mom said she could take us to the staples for the poster boards. So just hit me up. When you're Something done. Right. Yeah, I know that. We we figured that as much. We figured that much. <laughs> Zabadage. Alexa, stop. <laughs> we are just getting sabotage left and right. You cannot be serious. Oh my God, what? Oh, he's gonna beat my ass. Yes, bro. <laughs> Thank God Catherine's a puppet. Jesus. I know I heard the commotion and came over. He helped us defeat the mercenaries and many. Alright. 
You're okay, I guess. This time she didn't just transfer her mind into my body. Our minds swap places. Ooh. What? You swapped places? You mean your consciousness also went into Nahida's body? Yep. Oh, yep, Rooney. Then where is Nahida's consciousness? Where is she now? <laughs> I never imagined that an individual's consciousness could be transferred. You're funny, like chat. This. You're funny. Had I not seen it with my own eyes, I would have never believed it. I don't think this can be achieved with current human technology. It also, cannot. while we were running, the consciousness in your body told me to pass on a message. She said, mm -hmm. The doctor has found a way to trap my consciousness, so I can't journey with you anymore. Yikes. But even in a moonless night, a shower of starlight can still drown out illusions and lies. Yank. No! He is trapped in the sanctuary of Surasthana for good this time! Oh she left man, they nice. really stabbed Catherine. That was crazy. It's in a code that only we oh, know. That makes sense. Since the doctor captured her, she won't be able to say anything without him knowing. She's being extra careful. Even in a moonless night, a shower of starlight can still drown out illusions and lies. Huh. Paimon knows the moon illusions and lies are from that alchemical divination at the Subzeru's festival. Mm -hmm. Didn't Nahida use a starlight analogy before? It had something to do with Sataria. The moon refers to Nahida herself. Starlight refers to the people of the desert. Illusions and lies refers to the academia's plans. Oh, that makes okay. a lot of sense. Huh. To go and find help in the desert. You know it. Okay. We'll be I. I'm on. We got this. You said Sanctuary of Suristana. Does this mean that this Nahida you're talking about, uh, the consciousness who was occupying um, the traveler's body, is the Dendro Archon? Uh, your guess is correct, but the situation's a bit complicated, so it's really hard for us to explain right now. Yeah. That's all right. A scholar's curiosity doesn't need to be appeased right away. As for the complicated nature of the situation, safe to say I have witnessed that for myself. I've spent some time with you, and it looks like the Ooh. Dendro Archon's also on your side. Sorry, so I don't know what happened. I trust it you. Froze. Thank you, Tainari. Oh, actually, we came here to ask you a question. What do you know about the project that the sages have been working on? Ah, that. While I was indeed invited to join that project, the sages were always secretive about its scope and goals, so I eventually declined. All I know is that that project has something to do with the restoration of Ermansol. Hmm. Interesting. I think I know just what the project is about. Huh? Did you see something when you were in Nahida's body? Oh, so he's working with them, huh? But why are the academia working with him? I thought the Fatui wasn't like on his, well, okay. So I feel like the Fatui isn't on his side anymore because he ran off with the Gnosis. So is Dottori helping him too? Or is it just the academia that's helping him? Interesting. What? <laughs> Rhetorical questions. Do you have any evidence? I saw a nascent god under a construction. It's the truth. Hmm. So that's what happened. That explains why Hepasia's symptoms were different from those of the other scholars who went mad. It's because she made contact with the consciousness of a new god. God, he's become a god. Crazy. Hey, did you leave the Avidia Forest because of Hepasia? I did. I noticed Hepasia's mental anomalies. But since her symptoms were rather atypical, I secretly took her to Pardee's DI and began searching for a way to return her to her normal self. If I didn't take action, Hapasia would have already been taken by the Matra to the desert, doomed to a life of exile at Aru Village. Now Damn. that you mention it, I knew the Academia has never thought particularly highly of Lesser Lord Kusanali, but, but I still didn't expect them to do something as arrogant as creating a new god looks like i made the right decision the by accepting out. their invitation 
Two of me, fan the flames. The and the balladeer. We have two Fatui harbingers in Sumeru. <laughs> Sounds like we're in for a bad time. From your description, I don't think they've completed their project. There may still be room for us to intervene. Interesting. Then, what is the connection between creating a new god and restoring Ermin's soul? Mm. Yeah. It feels like we're still nowhere close to figuring Let's out. Let's go to the desert. <laughs> Let's go to the desert. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, let's go right. to the desert. We've pretty much gone over everything we need to know, so we should head out. How about you, Tainari? What are you going to do? <laughs> I'll stay here for now. I still want to try a few more things to help Apasia. Okay. If you're planning to go into the desert, start by heading for Caravan Rabat. That'll be your fastest route. Oh, Statue Seven's up there. Come find me here if there's anything else I can do to help. Do a Lipa. Go with you. Thanks, Tainari. Hopefully, a page. What do you mean, Dua Lipa? Where else then? Who's Dua Lipa? I mean, I know who Dua Lipa is but in this context. Who is Dua Lipa? All right, let's unlock this statue. Damn, that was kind of a waste. We got lots of vines here. Dua La Peep. Because Tignari's hair got out. <laughs> I was so confused. <laughs> Did Dua Lipa have that hair? One kiss is all it takes. Okay. Let's go there. You know where we gotta go. Hi, Kitsune. OMG Sino, I'm so excited, dude. I know. I don't have anything to. Oh, I have one. Gotcha. Beautiful. Okay, anyways. Time to walk. I know. I'm sorry, guys. What's going on, chat? While we take a little walk, a little stroll, enjoy the view. What's going on? How are we feeling? How are we, how are we doing? What are our thoughts so far? No spoilers, but thoughts. Will I understand the Scaramooch simps after today? I don't know. Will I get it? How you doing, Queen? I'm doing good. I'm chilling. I'm really tired, but I'm liking this quest, so. I'm so excited, excited to see Daya. Yeah, they, 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 something happens with them. Again, I have not seen the trailer because I didn't watch the live stream. So I'm going in completely blind. So if you're like, well, duh, it was in the trailer. Did you see it? It's because I didn't watch it. This is the first time I've never watched like a trailer. This is the first time I've gone completely blind for an Archon quest. What the fuck? Teach them a lesson? No, they're minding their business. What the heck? Why would I do that? Let's climb up here, yeah. Just to stop by and say hi. I hope you have an amazing stream. Oh, thanks, Kitsune. I appreciate it. Hi, new stream. Welcome in. I hope you're doing good. Um, I'm so impatient, actually, to get up here. Don't, not the shadow. Let's just watch Joe crawl a little bit. Doobie doobie doo bop doobie doobie doo bop doobie doobie doo bop doobie doobie doo bop doobie doobie doo bop. You know. Tori's number, which means this guy is like second in command of the It's true, it's true, it's true. What are our thoughts on Dottori so far, chat? Again, no spoilers. What are your thoughts? How are we feeling? I found Althayam's number is for Techno. <laughs> you know <laughs> Yeah, that's a good number to have. We hate Dottori. I need to put out this candle. I feel like I'm getting an allergic reaction to it. Is that weird? I feel like he might rep he might fill the whole Senora left in my heart. You know? I don't know. For those of you who are just jumping in, I just kind of want to flex on you. That look how many wishes. I have. <laughs> just kind of want to flex on you. I got Sino in my first temple, so you know I'm kind of like a god, like Scaramouche could never, because I'm kind of already a god. So I just want to let you guys know. In case you missed that. <laughs> oh man. 
He is ugly. Who is ugly? Yeah. If you like child, you can't call him ugly. If you don't like child, I'll let you have your opinion. That's it though. That's all I have to say. I have negative five primo gems. Honestly, that's usually what I have. I just have been saving my promos. This is the right place, right? This isn't the desert. Oh, I guess it is. <laughs> Child is weird. Glad we're all in agreement there. Thanks, chat. <laughs> Hello there. Hi, hire. All right, I'm plopping in. It's me, the mighty traveler. Cutscene time. Here. Pretty lively. So, just past this wall is the desert, huh? Oh, wow. Paima remembers hearing people call this the Wall of Samiel. It's made to block sandstorms from the outside. Oh, if it's this tall, it's gotta be the divine work of Greater Lord Ruka Devata, right? It is indeed quite impressive. Why'd I say it like that? Anyways. <gasps> Come on, follow me. What do you mean? No, 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 no. I know Traveler doesn't remember, but I remember you breaking my heart and I have not recovered. You cannot just pull up on me and, and talk to me like that. Like, stop playing games. He's hot, but he's a traitor. He's a traitor and he lied to me and I don't forgive him. Oh my god, look at how fine. Look at those. Uh, uh. <laughs> you know that like emoji <laughs> video of the guy that like he's like <laughs> he's like, you know the apple emojis you can like do the face tracking and he's just the dog. He's like, rawr, rawr, rawr. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> oh, it's me. If someone has that video, can you like <laughs> send it to me? <laughs> Here. Oh man. Okay, whatever you say. I mean, no, no. What if I don't want to go over there? God. Oh, hi. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. But he's hot. That's me with everyone in this game. It's honestly a problem. It's really bad, actually. I've. It's a struggle for me. Why am I listening to you? Why would I listen to? Oh, he's kind of saving me, Wayne. What the? Where did she go? He was saving me. Okay, wait. Maybe we can reconsider. <laughs> uh, how did we lose him? Maybe we can they reconsider. Just here a second ago. Maybe. Maybe I'm over it. You know? Maybe I moved on. More Aramite mercenaries? Who are they working for this time? Uh, anyway, traveler. They can teleport too. Like we were being followed again. You were too careless. You should have noticed those hopeless amateurs trailing you a long time ago. Don't speak to me like that, sir. Thanks, bitch. <laughs> Fuck you. I was fine. No need to thank me. I've never cared to keep track of personal. Yeah, feelings. I know, cause you're a traitor. Okay, I, I get it. You don't give a mistake. I happen to come across. It's a habit I developed at the academy. Okay. Bye. Don't talk to me like that. I don't care how hot you are. I don't take disrespect. So you've already landed yourselves on the academia's hit list. <laughs> I can't say that I didn't expect it. Mm. However, had I wished to turn you over to the Academia, don't you think you'd already be the Eremite's honored guests by now? Oh, right. Um, you do have a point. <laughs> did, you par did you participate in the Sage's big project? I have no interest in running errands for that okay. project. Sorry. Scholar, Sorry for asking you a question. My bad. <sighs> and these days, 
You're more fascinating than anything the sages can offer. What? <laughs> Don't play. Don't play like that. Don't play because I can't take it right now. I can't take it like that. I forgive human experiments, but I draw the line of disrespect. <laughs> he doesn't need you over. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just like, I'm, what does he have to say? What else does he have to say? I'm just wondering. Not quite. To tell you the truth, I'm still investigating the divine knowledge capsule. Unfortunately, <laughs> I've some difficulties. Oh my god, I love you guys. I in the desert and was eventually moved to Fort Ormos. If I am to get I'm to the sniffling bottom, up a storm, bro. I understand how the capsule first came to be. Which brings me back to you and why you're so interesting. The leader of I'm the hot. Earth, used the divine knowledge capsule right in front of you. And upon seeing him, your expression became perplexed, and you were lost in thought for quite some time. <gasps> to have that kind of reaction, I think you must have realized something. Are you interested at all in sharing what you've been hiding from me? Let's not start! Let's not start. Oh, hey, Boom. You really have a ridiculous eye for detail. What kind of person even notices or remembers stuff like that? The situation's a little complicated. So that's your answer. <laughs> well, I do work for the academia after all. So considering that, it is indeed wise to keep your cards close to your chest. Hmm. But that does prove you do have some undisclosed information about the divine knowledge capsule. Am I right? No. I don't know. <sighs> no about. matter. Rather than simply learning the answers from you, I'd still prefer to investigate on my own. Speaking of, you two are also headed to the desert? That's right. We have the same <laughs> <idea>. <laughs> Strawberry but Jesus. We don't really have any concrete goals at the moment. Mm -hmm. Then I'd suggest starting with Aru Village. It's the largest settlement in the desert, so it'll probably have more resources and intel than anywhere else. Well, would you like to head there together? Are you asking me on a date, sir? Because the answer is yes. Is no. It's actually yes. It's no. I would never, I would never let a man talk to me like that. Never. It's always better to travel never. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> you guys are weird. I never said that. You guys are actually kind of crazy. You're acting crazy right now. <laughs> oh, man. Exactly. Brittany get it, gets it. It's a yes it. <laughs> Uh, you guys are funny tonight. You guys are funny. You got jokes. <laughs> what the f was that? Jesus Christ. I'm trying to be on a romantic stroll. A what? Who said that? <laughs> Romantic? Hmm? Not me. Who are you? We don't have time to figure that out. I feel like there's gonna be a mechanic that's like, the sandstorm is too sandy. <laughs> I don't know. Does that make sense? Um, nothing to see here. You're sus? What do you mean? <laughs> you guys are clowns. <laughs> A scorpion. That's just a scorpion. Okay. I mean, that's cool. Oh, more climbing. Was that a tumbleweed? It was a tumbleweed. Hey guys, if you're liking the stream so far, if you hit that like button, I'll hide them. Is that how you say it? I literally already forgot his name. Um, he'll take you on a date. Or he won't. Whichever one you choose, okay? But if you hit the like button, then you'll find out. 
So you should do that right now. I'll wait. Did you do it? Come on. Don't play games. Okay, thanks. Thank you. You'll get an achievement, yeah. Your achievement is that Leah loves you. And that's one of the hardest achievements to get. <laughs> Tignari knows this. <laughs> Good thing I already did. As you should, Franco. Love that for you. Look, I see you guys liking. Thank you for the likes. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Yo, that was Before gross. Us lies Aru Village, the safe haven of the desert folk. Whoa. Why is it loaded in like that? Like, why does it look like a PS2 game right now? What the heck? That's so bizarre. Oh no, we have a cutscene. Cutscene means something bad's gonna happen. I just know it. Look at him. Mm. Okay. Oh, you guys got history. You guys got, whoa. Oh my God. They have a history together, bro. They know each other. He's so pretty. Unless my memory fails me, we have barely spoken two words to each other before now at the Academia. Would you care to enlighten me as to when and how I invited the General Mahamacho's wrath? Oh, Haytham. Do not think you can escape my judgment just because you managed to escape my attack. <laughs> judgment? So that's how you'd characterize your actions here, is it? Or would elimination perhaps be a more accurate description? Had I used my full strength, not even this traveler would have been able to stop me. Though styled like an assassination, I sought only to ensure that my target would be unable to flee or resist. Standard practice. The for girls the are fighting. Well you know. Seemed to me more like your own personal touch. Uh, who, who is that, I'll hate them. I love both of them. What do I do? <laughs> yes. General Maha Matra Sino, head of all the Matra at the Academia. He's a formidable hunter and the ultimate nightmare for any who have committed academic crimes. He seemed to have placed a lot of trust in Al Haytham, to the point of blocking an attack for him. If I were you, I'd never choose to side with him. I wouldn't believe a single word that comes out of his mouth. I have been pursuing this scribe for a long time. I urge you, stand back and do not seek to defend him any longer. Otherwise, there will be consequences. I don't trust him as much as you seem to think. Has Al Haytham done something wrong? Hyman doesn't think he's as bad as you've made him out to be. They're ex-boyfriends. I won't waste my breath <laughs> explaining things. Al Haytham, I saw it during our fight. Oh, he knows he has the thingy? Take it out. The divine knowledge capsule you're hiding on your person. Okay, stop! Yes! Read him! Oh my god. Very perceptive of you. Nothing escapes a mantra's senses. Yeah, you lied to me. Well, we already Wait, knew that. The divine knowledge capsule? Didn't it fall into the mantra's hands in Port Ormos? Lumini, bro. Shut up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Not right now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so you did lie to us. Yeah, we know. No wonder you speak with such confidence, Sino. But I must admit, I'm very curious. What does this capsule mean to you? And why, as General Mahamatra of the Academia, are you all alone in the desert? As far as I'm aware, the other Matra have been speculating about your disappearance. Sorry. Have you been given a mission that's, let's say, morally dubious? If I was the real target of your mission, what was stopping you from simply using your authority and resources? Uh, both of them, Who said that? Of the academia. Who said that? 
Not me. I would never say that. I would never say such a thing. So, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I should have known you'd be difficult to deal with. Mm. You too. Yeah, that's okay though. <clears throat> well, look at you two acting all tough and self righteous over there. Wait, do you? Hi. <laughs> Sorry. Um, hi. Why is everyone We gotta help us out here. Otherwise, you are gonna start fighting again. I think I'm gonna combust if we add anyone else to the mix. Two giants from the academia duking it out once and for all. Not something you get to see every day, that's for sure. Listen, I know you academic types love to fill up your big brains with self-righteous morality and lord your empty rules and virtues over each other. Oh, go dare off. you bring your petty disputes into the safe haven of Aru Village? Oop. It seems like someone's going to have to beat some sense into your thick Fight! 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 These grounds. I love fighting. I mean, what? Who's on that? Um, neither of them can be far to be distracted by die. They're still looking for opportunity to attack. Hey, did either of you hear a word I just said? <laughs> the wind? I'm dead. <laughs> oh, what's going on? The wind's so strong. Is this a sandstorm? Paimon? Sandstorm. Sorry, Paimon. What's up with these <gasps> Candace! Oh my god! All of you, over here, quickly. We have to take cover. Oh, too too many people! I can't. Like I don't think my bisexuality can handle this cutscene. I'm gonna be honest. Jeez, are all of you academia folks, such hard work. Move it! All right, stop yelling. <laughs> oh man, the wind is my favorite five-star character. When are you, are you guys pulling for wind? <laughs> oh man. Look at him. <laughs> this is so funny. They hate each other so much. I fucking love it. The boys are fighting. I have the wind at C6. Same. Venti really came in clutch. I know he pulled up. Well, this is pretty awkward. <laughs> Venti said, stop fighting, girlies. Three people who want to tear each other limb from limb. <laughs> sure, why not? Sounds fun. <laughs> can hardly keep floating anymore. My oh. sincere apologies, everyone. Oh, this is the home she's of our really pretty. Chief. I will have to ask you to make do with this small room until the sandstorm dies down. Please, let me introduce myself. I am Candace, protector of Aru Village. Ah, our savior has come at last! Nice to meet you, Candace. The name's Paimon. Thank you so much for helping us. You have my gratitude. <laughs> There's no need to thank me. It's only right to help each other. Oh, she's Hydra. It's rough. Okay. Wow. She's so gentle and caring. Like a nice older sister. I'm like those guys. Hydra characters being the hottest as usual. Right. <laughs> now that we're all better acquainted, we should return to the topic at hand. As a guardian charged with the responsibility to protect my fellow villagers from harm, I was observing your conflict from afar, even before the sandstorm started. And now that you have set foot within Aru Village itself, it is all the more my responsibility to make absolutely sure that you pose no threat whatsoever to us. So please, have an honest and sincere conversation with one another and put your hostile feelings to rest. If anyone dares to start anything again while they are under this roof, I will not hesitate to send them out for some quality time with the creatures of the sandstorm. Oh! On second thought, Paimon may have misjudged Candace's character. Nah, she's just direct. And that goes for you too, Miss Dia. Do I make myself clear? <sighs> All right, we got it, Candace. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. So, which of you will begin? I was supposed to be a mediator, but uh, I might have gotten a little too involved just now. Anyway, one of those two should probably start talking. Wait, 
that was you trying to be a mediator? <laughs> I have nothing to hide. So there's no shame in explaining myself. While all Haytham wasn't wrong about the other Matra not knowing my whereabouts, it's not because I've been assigned a morally dubious mission. Rather, I've chosen to exile myself. Huh? Exile yourself? A little while ago, I discovered that there was data missing in the Academia's project planning and development files. What little they did report clearly did not match the project's actual progress. As General Mahamatra, I had the responsibility and authority to request an audit. However, to my surprise, the person responsible for the erroneous data was none other than Grand Sage Azar himself. I tried to investigate the issue myself before submitting a formal audit request, but I soon found that all leads and potential pieces of incriminating evidence were carefully concealed from me. I began to realize that they were cautious of me from the very beginning. Unsurprisingly, the Grand Sage rejected my audit request as soon as the submission reached his desk. He even said to me, The power of the General Mahamatra is granted by the Sages. You have no right to judge us. Damn. Hmm. So they really are up to no good. I realized then that to the Grand Sage, the Matra are nothing more than tools for the Sages to assert and maintain their control over knowledge. The vows that we took, the principles that we strive to uphold, they are meaningless to the Academia of today. So then you decide to exile yourself. I believed it would be wise to flee the Academia before the Sages had a chance to take action against me. This way. They can no longer see nor predict my actions. I will never give up on this investigation. There's no need for someone else to give me power or authority. Once I find the truth, I will administer judgment by my own name. Okay. Dino seems to have the same goal as us. We're all investigating the sages. Okay. Plus, now that he's no longer the General Mahamatra, he somehow feels a lot less scary. So too early to trust him completely. I don't know. I kind of trust well, him, but it's okay. I know. If that's your story, then why did you see all hate them as a target? When I was investigating the matter in the academia, I overheard a conversation between all Haytham and a sage. Ooh, the sage is asked him. you to investigate a blonde-haired traveler. Do you dispute this, all Haytham? Like yeah. many parts of the project, this assignment was undocumented. Now throw in your suspicious behavior with the Divine Knowledge Capsule, and I think we deserve an explanation. Damn. Hmm. Yes. I was indeed tasked with investigating the Traveler. They knew he would get to me, bro. After they all, knew it. the promised reward was so great that hardly any scholar could have refused. The Sage told me, once you've completed this assignment, I can give you a glimpse of divine knowledge. <laughs> Just like the, the hit game among us. <laughs> Unfortunately, those academics oh, don't know me at all. Yeah, I don't Their think words he's contain following one it. Key piece of information. Namely, that divine knowledge indeed exists. Oh, he's Dendro. I never even realized. I, I don't know why he got, his costume gave me animal the vibes. The are far from trustworthy. Think about it. Isn't it a little strange they're so willing to share divine knowledge with anyone, even as a reward? So, I began my own investigation following the lead They're literally of the doing the same thing. Capsule. They're so funny. In the end, I realized my wisdom in committing to this rather than collaborating with the sages. Had I been less guarded, I probably would have ended up like that Einal Ahmar mercenary, incapable of remaining sane for long enough to hold a conversation. You mean... That the sages originally planned to dispose of you using one of those capsules that drive people insane? Did you join force or anything just so you could investigate me? I'd already given up on the assignment by then. I only told the academia I was waiting in Port Ormos for you to appear so they wouldn't suspect anything. Okay. So it came as quite a surprise when I encountered my erstwhile target while investigating the divine knowledge capsule. Criminals do love to talk about coincidences. Ooh. 
Even though I ran into the Traveler by chance, I had no intention of providing assistance to the Academia. Also, you should remember, you were the ones who decided to follow me and strike up a conversation after I left that tavern. Is that enough to prove his innocence, brother? That's true. I'll help him help the Savage nice. Caravan Rebot as well. Maybe he's telling the truth. Maybe he's not I'm a traitor, guys. If that's worth anything to you. <gasps> I took the Divine Knowledge Capsule behind your back because I judged its existence to be a significant risk. He's gonna apologize. I thought that it would be best for no one to interact with it before it had been properly studied. <laughs> After all, curiosity often proves to be the Guys, most dangerous Guys, he said sorry. Thing well, he said he was willing to say you sorry. You should be well aware, scribe. So, like, him, it's okay. Curiosity can also lead you to danger and suspicion. This doesn't apply to real life, though, Answer guys. Break up with your boyfriends. Did the sages share any information about their project with you? Have I not made myself clear? You and I are both distrusted by that the That doesn't academia. answer the question, I'll hate them. Do you them. really think they would tell me anything? Fine. Although you haven't completely proven your innocence, I won't regard you as an enemy. For now. I like Sino. Mm -hmm. Good. I'm glad to see you two clearing up your misunderstandings. And now you, Dia. I believe it's your turn. Oh, sorry. Whatever the boys were talking about must have been so boring that I spaced out. <laughs> <clears throat> My situation is pretty straightforward. My employer, Junior Zad of the Homiyani family, is friends with the Traveler and is currently recovering from her illness at home. I, I hate them still have his ear pace. Yeah, I noticed so that. I so I'm kind of like, I feel like they're going to take, they're take control of him or something. I was forward to a pretty exciting time getting back together with everyone here. But then I saw these two random guys in the middle of a pointless argument. You take me off, and things went downhill from there. Is that all? Well, I will admit that definitely sounds like your style. In that case, welcome back, dear. That's more like it. I missed you all so much, Candace. Uh, yeah. What the one was that? Whoa! What was that sound? No need to worry. Now that you're no longer at each other's throats, Please make yourselves at home. I'll take a quick trip outside to clear out some of those creatures in the sandstorm. C creatures? In the sandstorm? Uh, are you sure you don't want some backup? Fighting in a sandstorm is not for the faint-hearted. Anyone without extensive training in these conditions is at a disadvantage. You needn't worry. Yeah, just leave them to Candace. <laughs> don't worry, she's as tough as they come. Died down. That means the sandstorm's over, right? Panda still isn't back yet, though. Is she all right? Maybe we should go out and check on her. When you put it that way, even I'm starting to feel a little worried. All right, let's go. We've been here long enough, and the boys are as chatty as the floor. <laughs> I hope she's okay. Scene. Welcome back, Addy. Not the wolves. That sound is crazy. Yes. They just keep coming in waves. I've lost count of how many I've defeated. Before I realized it, even the sandstorm had stopped. Her stamina is also something else. We got it. Leave this round to us. I got interrupted earlier, but now I have something to take my anger out on. <laughs> it's been quite a while since I've seen the flame main in action. I'll leave these to you then. I'll be sure to put on a good show. <laughs> Let's go. I'm ready, girly. Oh, 
Oh, I don't need a shield, but it's okay. just now was probably the aftermath of the sandstorm so we should be safe for the time being well fought everyone no injuries i hope it's an old man uh, who are you <laughs> i'm uh, insensitive my apologies i haven't had a chance to greet you yet i had my hands full taking care of the village's elderly and children there's so many people here I right now. Chief <laughs> I'm overwhelmed. Everyone usually calls me Uncle Anpu. It's a pleasure to meet Sir, you. I am also originally from the desert, but I have not been back for some time now. May I ask if such sandstorms are common? I can't say they've always been common, uh, but recently the storms have become increasingly severe and frequent. Besides sandstorms, we also occasionally get earthquakes. Uh, according to an investigator who stayed in the village a while ago, these unusual natural phenomena are related to the withering of Ermensol. Hmm. Another effect of Ermensol's withering. So, Ermensol's withering causes withering zones in the forest, and sandstorms and earthquakes here in the desert? Everything in the natural world is inextricably connected to Ermensoul. These regional symptoms can indeed be a reflection of Ermensoul's present state. Everyone in Aru Village needs to take good care of themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of which, why haven't I seen a single village keeper since I got here? Village keeper? Who are they? Village guards like Candace? Does your curiosity know no bounds? Village Keeper is how Aru Village refers to mad scholars exiled here by the academia. Most of them are scholars Damn. who lost their sanity after a period of training in the Avidia Forest. The academia believes that their crazed mutterings may have a negative effect on the psyches of other scholars. So, they're forcibly exiled to the desert. Though if you ask me, it's all a boatload of nonsense. Tignari also brought this up before. Alas, that's exactly what we've been trying to investigate. One by one, the village keepers have been mysteriously disappearing without a trace. Interesting. But no one in the village has ever seen them leave. If you're planning to stay around the village for the next few days, I'd appreciate it if you could keep an eye out for them. I've had encounters with those people in the past. I'll see what I can do to help. Hmm. The Matra are the ones responsible for their exile. Now that you're no longer with them, are you trying to alleviate your guilt in a tone of I hate them. Sense? Stop trying to start fights, I'm, Bestie. I'm fascinated by how you think. Mock me if you will. But if you are guilty, I will eliminate you. Regardless of my position or identity. Oh, you're the former General Mahamatra. You must be an expert in these he, kinds of things. He is not playing. I like Thank it. Thank you for your help. I'll help too. Is it because you're reminded of Hapasia? Oh, these poor scholars. First they lose their sanity, now this. We need to help get them back home safe and sound. Agreed, but, bestie. Uh, is it really a good idea to tag along with Sino? You seem like you really don't trust him. It'll be fine. Oh, you okay? <sighs> no doubt you will do a better job than some of my former subordinates. Subordinate. Let's start by finding a spot to share what we know so far. Okay. I trust Sino. I feel like he's got nothing to gain from this. I am sniffling so bad. Cutscene! Oh no, it's not cutscene. Although I've sent myself into exile, I'm still doing essentially the same things as before. 
Do you still have any questions for me before we start our investigation? Why do they refer to mad scholars as village keepers? One of my former subordinates told me that this title has its origins in a strange incident. Uh -huh. The academia has long exiled mad scholars to Aru village. A mysterious phenomenon exists here. When mad scholars first arrive, they are as incoherent and deranged as before. But after spending some time here, they invariably begin to calm down. Interesting. Initially, the people of Aru village greatly resented having to take in the mad scholars. But a strange incident one night changed that. Aru that? village was struck by the strongest earthquake in living memory. Seeing buildings on the verge of collapse all around him, the then chief of the village was preparing to take everyone to safety. Hmm. Suddenly, he noticed a mad scholar crouching in a corner, caressing the ground with his hands. A soft green light radiated from him, like a divine glow against the backdrop of night. Despite the powerful tremors that ripped through the ground that night, all the houses remained upright, almost as if they had grown roots reaching deep into the ground. In the end, not a single building collapsed, and no one was hurt. After that, the people of Aru village treated the mad scholars with greater kindness, and began to refer to them as the village keepers. Huh. It sounds like a hero. What do you make of it, traveler? I would think so too. Actually, Sino, do you know if any of the mad scholars continued to wear their Akasha terminals at Aru Village? In theory, they would continue wearing them so the academia could still monitor their activities. With that said, the main Akasha system would no longer have. Leah <laughs> is sick with being attracted to evil man. May the Archons no cure, cure you, girl. Thank, thanks, bestie. I appreciate it. The fact that they calmed down, it was probably Nahida who calmed them. If you are able to draw a conclusion from this one story alone, then it appears you possess much more information than I do. So, what do you make of the story? Hmm. Power like they came from Lesser Lord Kusanali. Really? Lesser Lord Kusanali. Yeah, I know her. She's my bestie. What? You don't believe us? Lesser Lord Kusanali was definitely using the Akasha to give her power to the Mad Scholars. No, it's not so much that I don't believe you. I'm just struck by your reasoning. Lesser Lord Kusanali, the current Dendro Archon. Is she really active in Sumeru? The Academia has always placed far greater importance on the late Greater Lord Ruka Devata. They've more or less ignored Lesser Lord Kusanali, and I've never had any reason to doubt their views. In addition, I've never heard any stories about Lesser Lord Kusanali and her deeds. To me, she might as well have been a god that never existed. No huh. way! Nahida definitely exists! How should Paimon put it? She's a good Archon who's kind and wise. Even if she says weird stuff sometimes. We save Sumer City together! I've spent many years interrogating criminals. So I can easily tell when someone is lying. And I'm not. Good! Then you should know that we're telling the truth! That look in your eyes. <laughs> I've never seen that from a liar. You two really must have met Lesser Lord Kusanali. He did. How can this be? Because I'm to built think. different. Our Archon has been amongst us this entire time. Mm -hmm. All right, now it's our turn to put our skills to good use for this investigation. You betcha. It's easier said than done, especially since we don't have any leads. Maybe we can start by knocking on some doors. This is a long one, huh? Among us? Excuse Enough. Me. Are you here to help me find my grandpa? No. What? Who are you? No. The answer's no. Can you go back into your weird the little house? Of it, a resident of this village. My name is Isak. I don't know why I thought there was a house right there. You'll help me find my grandpa, right? No. 
Is your grandpa a mad scholar? Hey, don't say that. Grandpa is just grandpa. Why do you have to call him that? It's I don't care if he's a kid. I have more important things to do. Ugh. The person you're referring to is not a local. Yet you are. Why do you call him grandpa? Huh. Grandpa is just grandpa. He's my family. Oh my god. I heard everything you said to the village chief. Please, you gotta take me with you. I, I wanna find my grandpa. I, I swear I'll help. I will <laughs> Patrick, shut it up. <laughs> uh, so you're the one who was eavesdropping <laughs> around the village shut chief's up. house. Shut up. I have other things to do. To go out and take care of whoever it was. But I had a vague feeling that they didn't harbor any ill intent. Chat, you guys need to calm down. You guys need to calm down. I've never simped for a man in my life. Never. Let's help this kid, bro. All right. But first, let's confirm the facts with Candace. Okay. <laughs> oh, where's all the simping coming from? I don't know what you guys are talking about. back already we just wanted to confirm something with you do you know a boy by the name of isak <laughs> i had a feeling he'd go looking for you huh you knew this would happen yes although he tried his best to stay hidden i still noticed him eavesdropping outside the window he really wants to get his grandfather back and I really want to find my brother, but we can't all have what we want, so. Aramite mercenaries who rarely return to the village after finding employment in the city. <laughs> you killed him, so I'm not gonna... his grandfather. <laughs> What's that song? It's like, it was only I would never swear to snitch on you, daddy. <laughs> he that's you? Was very young at the time. Not me, that's you. Various families in the village took turns caring for him so he could survive. Oh. Later. An elderly mad scholar arrived at the village. Isak thought the scholar bore a striking resemblance to his grandfather, and thus often spied on the man. However, the scholar was unkempt in appearance and incoherent in speech. Although Isak referred to the man as his grandpa, he was afraid and didn't dare to approach him. One summer night, the oft mumbling and bumbling grandpa suddenly calmed down and seemed to become more lucid. He even noticed Isak hiding in the distance. So grandpa walked up to I Isak need to get tissues and or patted something, him bro. on the head. He even took Isak to the entrance of the village, where he patiently taught the boy the names of the stars and accompanied Isak until he fell asleep. The next morning, Isak woke up and wanted to go find his grandpa again, only to realize his grandpa no longer recognized him. However, even so, grandpa retained his calm expression. It's said that those who saw the scholar claimed he no longer appeared to be crazy, but appeared to be living in his own world. This is so interesting. As if he were sleepwalking. These scholars. Isak was thrilled that his grandpa was able to find peace and would follow him all the time, asking him things like, Grandpa, Want me to take you somewhere fun, or... Grandpa, could you tell me stories about the stars again? All this somehow just makes Paimon feel really sad. It seems like they both deserve so one so could much say, better. he's built different. Perhaps. Yeah, <laughs> Nearly yeah you're right. Who lives in one could say that. Some form of hardship or regret. But even so, we must still continue on with our lives. It's hmm. also my reason for fighting. I must continue to protect this land. 
Lucid Grandpa was probably in here. She wants to see the other scholars as well. Ooh. Hmm. Maybe the people have always had a considerate god watching over them. Uh, wow, so one of them comes back just asking. <laughs> no, nothing. As long as Esau keeps his word and doesn't get in our way, we can take him along. Bro. Perhaps you are more compassionate than I gave you credit for. I have to take a kid along with me? Please accept my thanks on Isak's behalf. Suddenly, Sunday. I'm the Fatui. They ain't got no kids over there. Oh, but they have a child. Never mind. Oh. Hey, Isak. This child's gonna it's waste good, my time. We've cleared everything up. Let's go find your grandpa. We're gonna make this quick. We're gonna make this Thank very you quick. So much. Your grandpa will be found safe and sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Del Tori standing over there with his child experiment. <laughs> you're right, you're right. <laughs> Oops. Chat. Do we continue? Do we keep going? Ugh. Should I hold on? Let me grab tissues. I can see. Well, I'm gonna grab a tissue. It's like right over there. So. Do we keep going? What are our thoughts? I'm dying, but I'll, I'll push through. <sighs> what are we thinking, chat? Yes. Yes. Yes, please. Okay, we'll keep going. I wanna die inside because I'm exhausted and my nose is stuffy, but we'll keep going. Um, let me do a quick little bathroom break. I'll be like 10 seconds, all right? I'll see you guys in one second. This was something, no, this is to the Archon Quest. We're just going to the next one. Another two hours of simping, I mean story. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, give me that like 10 seconds, all right guys? I will be right back. I'll, if you're watching the video, I'll put a timestamp in the description to skip this, okay? I'll be right back.
I did spill water all over the floor. Also, things are getting a little serious. Chat, things are getting a little serious, so I decided to bring out my serious, my formal attire, okay? Because things are about to get crazy and we need to be prepared, all right? So I bought, I brought my best fit so we can be prepared for these very important moments. All right, guys, let's, let's continue, shall we? Who sent me a mail? Totally serious attire, exactly. We need to be serious right now. It's about to go down. You know what I mean? Sheesh, the fit, I know. Damn the drip. It's kind of kind of feel kind of drippy today. <laughs> All right, let's go ask the locals for information. Not the locals. Open your mail. Why? It's Ayaka. There we go. Thanks, Ayaka. I need to do the survey, but we're not right now. Oh, is there? Ignore that. Oh. Cool. <laughs> Start a little break. Um, so many loud noises. Okay. This is like, this is because I haven't played in a while though. Anyways. All right, Ka. Kazan, I don't know why I could say that. What's good? Excuse me, did you happen to see where the missing scholars went? Yeah. You mean the village keepers? Oh, let me think. When I was eating dinner the other day, I saw one of them by the side of the road, muttering away and eating mushrooms and tree roots. They shouldn't go around why eating that rude? kind of stuff. Don't be rude. Uh, Maybe they like okay. it. They're getting high as a Did kite, bro. Anything else? Anything else? Hmm. No, I think that's all I have to tell you. Sorry. That was weird. Am I crazy or was that fucking weird? Connor would be like, Stacey's fuckery technology. We made it to be a dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what is that? That upside down pyramid, what the hell? Huh? Anyways. The scholars that have gone missing, have you seen them? <gasps> Those eyes. Those fierce eyes. <laughs> Alright, lady. Like Let's keep it moving. Don't change the subject. Right. You were asking about the vi I mean the mad scholars i think it's been a few days since i last saw them i usually go to bed pretty early so i'm not too familiar with what goes on at night mm -hmm. but honestly i feel quite sympathetic towards them even though they act a little strange they've helped me in the past. lady was like you're uh, i know i get it i get then, it my house would have collapsed i understand her ago. do you also think grandpa and the others are yeah karomi <laughs> Oh, hello there. It's little Isak. You mean that nice man who looks like your grandpa's long-lost twin, right? <laughs> he was actually the one who protected my house. I saw it with my own eyes. He happened to be staying near my house that day and was doing something with his hands on the ground. It still feels pretty surreal now that I think back on it. Did someone teach them how to do that? Well, whatever the case, I'll always be thankful to him and whoever taught him to look out for others. I'm pretty sure that if I ever went mad, I wouldn't be able to do anything like Connor that. Connor invented the TV. <laughs> gotcha. Thank you. Thanks so much for streamer luck. You're welcome. Congratulations, Amoro. Congrats. Love that for you. Who else am I asking? Below. Celestia, Celestia was like, um, you guys made a microwave and that was taking it way too far. 
Way too far, Conria. Have you seen my grandpa recently? Addy just wants to say that he got this for me, bro. Just say that. What do you mean? Oh, well, if it isn't Isak. Oh, your grandpa, huh? Hmm. It's been a while. The way he said that sounded hostile at first. I saw him, he was pacing out by the road as usual. I went and asked him if he'd like any of the food I had prepared, despite my wife's protests. Like many people, she's really quite terrified of them. <sighs> and speaking of my wife, she's still always complaining about how I don't make <laughs> enough mora. He broke. I'll explain why she's always mad at me. He's broke. Everyone point and laugh. Thank you, Thank you for taking care of him. <laughs> it was hey, nice. yo, Lee. Hey, <laughs> Pause. What? Let's go for a walk and get lost. Oh, oh man. Oh, that's no good. Well, once you found him, come by my place again and I'll cook a little something <laughs> for the both of you. I've known you since you were very young. So as far as I'm concerned, you're family. Please feel free to come by anytime. Wow, what a nice guy. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love when the characters do that. <laughs> What's wrong, Sino? Don't say anything for now. Okay. Mm. Isak, stay here. Let's head over there. Stay quiet as you move. I'd be quiet as a little mouse. I don't know why I said that. That's kind of embarrassing. I'm telling you that that freaking Scarlet King is real. Me being not quiet at all. Listen, see if you can make out what they're saying. Have you heard? The mighty Scarlet King. The, the accent. Of our faith will soon what return accent? To this world. Yes, of course I have. I don't even remember the what I said. The Scarlet King is the one and only true ruler of this land. I've never believed in any other gods. Still, you say he's coming back, but it sure doesn't feel like life's about to change around here anytime soon. What's your proof? Haven't you noticed? The village has been getting more deranged scholars than ever. Delavar was saying that many people also went insane just before the fall of the Scarlet King civilization in ancient times. Oh yeah, I did say that. We don't quite know why, but it seems like there's some sort of connection between insanity and the Scarlet King. Isn't it a sign of the Scarlet King's power that all the mad scholars have disappeared? If you ask me... They must have been chosen as the final sacrifice for the Scarlet King's resurrection. Wait, what if the Scarlet King you say it? is getting resurrected as Karamush? Does this That's a good theory, Cow. That's a good theory. For the better? Exactly. Those city folks will get what's coming. That's a good them. theory. That's a good theory. Now, I like that theory. I like that theory. Repeat everything you've just said from the very beginning. Oh. I love Sino so much. That was so that was so imp impressive. My patience is running thin. You heard what I asked. Uh, uh, mm. yeah. Bro, mm. this guy's something else. <laughs> Not the bro. <laughs> look at his eyes. One wrong move, and he's gonna flay us alive. <laughs> bro, this guy's something else. Like Me. Side, okay? I got it. I am no match for this guy. Oh, okay, good sir. What is it you would like to know? Tell me about the Scarlet King's resurrection. <laughs> well, I I only know a few things from hearsay. I went for a drink the other day and heard others talking about a rumor that the madmen will disappear and that the Scarlet King will return to this land. I'm, I'm not sorry, I'm listening. Up, I swear. Okay. <sighs> okay. Hey, go on. Keep talking. <laughs> it's true. It's all true, sir. We desert folk have had more than enough of those people at the academia. They keep sending us all their mad scholars and won't let us have a good life. Would you want to live like this if you were in our place? The radicals were even more thrilled than me when they heard the news. We're all praying for the Scarlet King's speedy return. Delavar also said that once the Scarlet King returns to our side, it's only a matter of time before we conquer the land on the other side of the wall. They're all willing to serve under the Scarlet King and fight for a share of the glory. 
Is that so? Mm. Uh, seems like he still wants to know more. Keep talking. Ah, <laughs> uh, got it. I, uh, at first, I told myself it was just the drink talking. But then all the mad scholars vanished without a trace, just as the rumor said. Please don't beat me up just for mentioning. Two <laughs> NPCs actually just sitting talking with the ancient lore in their free time. <laughs> I'm just saying what the others said. The people here really like the Scarlet King, but dislike the Dendro Archon. The Academia is probably the true target of their hatred. Where is this radical person you talked about? Mm -hmm. I haven't run into him oh, over the past few days, mm -hmm. so he probably hasn't <laughs> been mean, around what? the village. What about you, man? Have you seen him at all? No, uh, not at all. We wouldn't dare lie to you. He's really not here right now. Sounds like you're not too close with the radicals. Uh, no, uh, of course not. All we know are their names. I have many ways to stop you from talking. And many others to stop you from sending warning messages. Mm. So you'd best just stay home and hope I don't hear of you trying to contact anybody. What other what don't ways of anything. what? Other Until what I've ways of, to the bottom of what? This. Try something um, foolish. What ways? And of, even Candace won't be able to protect you. What other yes. things do you have ways yes. for? We'll do just as you I was said. just wondering. No. Nope. I was just asking. <gasps> that scared Paimon half to death. Sino is pretty terrifying. Ahem. Mm. Mm -mm. Let's continue mm. the quest. He didn't try to reassure us at all. Like he's used to hearing that. Oh, Paimon bets lots of people have told him that before. Sorry, I was, I was just distra I was just distracted. Might be, might be. I heard that. Ah, sorry. Ah! <laughs> oh no, it's like Zhao all over again. He's a Sundarek. He's the gonna rumor be like, we heard just now I'm, seems like a I'm too professional rumor. for you, and I'm gonna be like, but we need to check a few more places. <laughs> but what if? <laughs> but uh, it's okay. You're gonna fall in love with me. That's what the 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 psychic said. So everyone falls in love with me. <sighs> okay, we're good. We're good, guys. Um, yeah. Very well. <laughs> Not dad. Hey, yo. Uh, I am here. Where's your grandpa's house? I can take you there. Just follow me. Oh my, this kid is. You're driving me freaking crazy. I can take you there. That's rude. I'm sorry. No, I'm not. I'm not sorry. <laughs> I have to say, okay, guys, chat. I have to say I'm sorry right now for the comments. <laughs> I'm really sorry I made fun of a child. It will not happen again. I really, I really understand the wrongs of my actions. I apologize. He just pokes at the ground with his fingers. Oh, what? <laughs> I was like, we keep walking. He yells out at the top of his lungs, so a lot of people are really scared of him. But he's a good person, really. I know he is. I swear, he, he's just like my real grandpa. Okay. It's just Scaramouche. <laughs> Be so funny. <laughs> this is where Grandpa usually stays. Okay. There sure isn't much here. What's that smell? A faint whiff of incense. No. Oh. Incense. Uh, please don't say it's the same one as before. It's definitely that one. But are you okay? Are you getting dizzy or need to lie down? There's a scent that you can sense, but I can't. A certain traveler here once passed out from that smell. Thankfully, Tainari saved the day. <clears throat> and then he gave us a long lecture to explain all about how it worked. Not a corpse. So, you know Tainari. Huh? You know him too? Are you two friends? Yes. Oh. 
Hmm. I love Tainari. Now that I concentrate. Suddenly. I can also make up the scent of incense. Suddenly, oh, Tainari and I are also besties. So look, we have that in common. I love him. Love him. I love him so much. He's my favorite. I'm so glad you also know him and your besties. I'm so happy because I love him. I love him so much. He's oh, awesome. Wait. I love Surely, him. Tainari Great guy. Great guy. No. No need. I can't handle the set very well. Did you first encounter this scent at Tainari's house? No, it was in the forest when I was meditating. <laughs> Why say it like that? From a scholar. Let's keep it looking for more clues. I don't want to split up. <laughs> well, I said, can you share your boyfriend with like, for like three hours? I'm boy. They're not together, so. Don't say that. Look at him. Hey. How are you doing? What's going on? Yeah? I feel like we would get along real well. You know? No? But what if you change your mind? Maybe one day you'll change it? Yeah? Okay. Let me look at the footprints. I'm doing the quest, I'm doing the quest. What are you looking for, Sino? Here it is. Take a look right here. Uh Prima doesn't see anything. Although the traces have been completely buried in the sand. Prima to the drums. There are footprints here. From the size and shape. They belong to an adult male. This pattern is a common one from this area. Local shoes. This was probably someone from the village. The scent is quite faint, but still extant. The footprints head in the direction of the door. Someone else has been here. But who would come looking for Grandpa? He doesn't have any friends. We'd have to ask whoever lured him away with the incense. Lured him away, gotcha. Huh? So you can lure someone away with just a scent? <laughs> you get lured away with all the time. Hey, what's wrong with liking good food? Everyone's got something they love in life. Exactly. Most scholars are fond of incense. Fatui, dun dun Since dun! Since the smell dun. helps them clear their minds and discover new knowledge. Even deep within the clutches of madness, they still yearn for their knowledge-seeking days and will follow the scent whenever it presents itself. No, Grandpa. He <laughs> floats away like a cartoon <laughs> character <laughs> smelling a pie. <laughs> huh. Oh my god, Why can you imagine? Abduct all the scholars? Is it to resurrect King Deshret? Scarlet the King. Is really true? That's the only thing we have so far. The disappearance of all the mad scholars have something to do with the I feel like Scaramouche is going to be the reincarnation yeah, or something, bro. Likely. I don't know. Please. Because they don't like the Dendro Archon, so like revive the Scarlet King. You know? I don't know. This is my theory right now. Don't you worry, Isa. We won't let whoever took him get away with it. Let's head to Aru Village and inform Candace and the others about what we learned here. After that, we'll set off to find the scholars. Okay. I was still over that scare moosh cutscene. That was crazy. Can I just teleport? Is that faster? Yeah. This. Scare moosh gonna massacre us, but we'll need his drops. Yeah, you know it. You already know it. He's gonna beat our ass. He's gonna be hard. The darker fabric definitely looks a lot better. That'd be my choice too. But that, Candace, we've got a lot to tell you. Ah, welcome back. I like her. <laughs> Sounds like everyone's friends already. Oh, Dia's here too. You bet. So, everything goes smoothly? Reasonably. Hmm? I'll hate them didn't go with you. 
We haven't seen him at all. Oh, Jesus. Huh. I saw him around the village entrance earlier. This man. He was investigating with you. I guess he must have gone off on his own. <laughs> Did you find out anything useful? I see. So someone used a kind of incense to lead the exiled scholars away from the village. It's giving Fatui. The resurrection of the Scarlet King? First I've heard of it. As far as I know, the kind of incense you just mentioned is only popular beyond the wall. Ah! Scholars are fond of it, but as you can see, there aren't many scholars still studying around these parts. No seller would be able to make a profit here. Not to mention making incense is a labor-intensive process. You won't see anybody in the desert with the patience to make or sell something that requires that kind of effort. It seems someone from beyond the wall must have been supporting this. Makes sense. <laughs> uh, two, ooh, e. So what we do Look at that mother in the corner. Oh, he's ruined everything! If it was any other day, that would be your next logical step. But today, you've got me on your team, so you get an extra tip. Didn't you say that the villager got his news from the tavern? Well, I also like to drink at the tavern, so I know a thing or two about <laughs> these radicals he mentioned. <laughs> Chad, are you okay? What's going on? The leader of the radicals is some guy called Delavar. Ah, uh, yeah. Delavar, the scar riddled bandit, Enger, the wide eyed butcher, and Jabari, the duck tail bearded crook. The whole lot of them are known around these parts. Hmm. Look at him, these evil guys man. Have one thing in common, and that's being broke. The rougher life gets, the more they want to believe in the Scarlet King. The way they see it, the Scarlet King's resurrection is their only chance at overthrowing the academia. Okay. He's gone. Throwing all of Sumeru into chaos is the only way to change the way of life here in the desert. Anyway, that's my guess why they've chosen to become radicals. Interesting. Yeah, you're but what was that guy up to? Know this place inside and out. But dear, I. Staying quiet. <laughs> no Merc can afford to slack off on gathering intelligence. Every more I've spent in the tavern has been a valuable investment. Mm-hmm. Okay, she saw the guy. Out. Now hold on, you're staying right here, Sino. Hmm? Huh? Why? Aru Village is not a big place. Outsiders stand out here like a sore thumb. I'd bet word about you has already gotten out. The desert is unforgiving, so the way of life here is also a lot tougher than on the outside of the wall. You survive on making connections out here. Mm. Compared to you, mercs like me are just third-rate <laughs> amateurs. I've got no actual fighting skills to speak of. Bro, but chat. That also makes it a whole lot. I look away for two seconds. We need Borny chat to relax. I need to go around and ask some questions, but it'll be difficult if you're with me. <sighs> Fine. I mean, I'm a sim for her Good. regardless. Then we've got a plan. The Traveler and Paimon will go to Caravan Rebot with me, and we'll try our best to figure out where the Mad Scholars have been taken. Sino, you'll have to stay in the village and continue investigating on your own. All right, sounds like a plan. She definitely saw that guy, right? Yeah, she did. Okay, I like her, she's smart. I don't think I can teleport. Oh, I can. She knew, she lied because she knew someone was listening in. Yeah, she's smart, she's smart. Well, here we are again. Sounds like you're starting to get familiar with the area. Paimon's amazed every time we see the wall of Samiel. How can a wall this tall even exist? It's almost unreal. I know what you mean. I had the same question every time I walked this way when I was a kid. Also, why is this high wall here? And can a wall really block sandstorms? Ooh. It was only after I grew up that I realized the wall of Samiel isn't just there to keep out the sandstorms. It serves a more important purpose. 
keeping out people like us. Oh! Sumeru is run by wise and mighty sages. To them, us desert dwellers are nothing but tools that can be used Damn. and discarded at their whim. We're cheap labor, like livestock, but easier to control. Nothing more. Even if a child from the desert got the chance to obtain an Akasha terminal, almost all their requests for knowledge would be denied. The academia believes we're under. I hate the academia, bro. Geniuses like Sataria are one in a million. The other They're children the worst. never get a single chance to try and rewrite their fate. Even though the mm. academia knows very well that we're humans, just as they are. That's terrible. They racist, bro. I would tear down this wall with my own hands if I could. I'd help you, girly. I understand how she how she feels, but I hope she doesn't do anything drastic here. Uh, you're not thinking about doing anything scary, are you? Uh, no, not at all. This place just gets me thinking. That's all. Mm. Besides, we're here to procure information, aren't we? Yep. <laughs> I'm sorry. Franco said I think Eula would be proud of this. Stop! The Eula simps are not gonna like that one. I I do not condone that statement. I do. You're so right. I do not condone that statement. Let that be known. A caravan Rebot is crawling with people, so be careful what you say. We don't want anyone to find out what we're here for. Our mission started the moment we arrived here. Let's go check out the tavern. Maybe we'll find someone I know. <laughs> Oh man. Stairs and Eula stand. Well, no one said anything about Eula. You misheard. You misheard. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Fight in the chat. Chat, grab your popcorn. Just our luck. None of them are here today. Hi, Pele. Stuff. Anyone you know? Welcome in. Yeah, is that you? <laughs> what a coincidence. You here for a drink too? Hmm? Zaki. <laughs> Finally, a friendly face. Oh, and who do you have with you here? Guests from another land? Hello. It's nice to meet you. Hello, also. Hello. I'm Zaki. Dia's, uh, how would you put it? Drinking buddy? Also, chat, if you guys like, like hanging out with each other, um, the Discord is linked in the description. If you guys want to join, we can talk in there as well. Also, if you haven't liked the video, give it a little like. It helps me out, okay? <laughs> We've had drinks together a few times. Enjoy the Discord. You say we go back a ways. Anyway, as far as my friends here, they aren't too shabby, are they? You rarely see any outlander so friendly and respectful nowadays. Absolutely. <laughs> Much better than those people on the other side of the wall. So, Dia. Why are you talking like looking uh, for someone? Steph out. Yeah. Racially have you motivated. Seen Edgar, Delavar, or Jabari recently? Of course I have. Matter of fact, I don't like that. He's up uh... just a few days ago. I've got a spice trading deal from another nation. I thought maybe Delavar and his friends might be interested. Know where I could find him? Ah, how thoughtful of you. Then I assume you also know that Delavar's been having a hard time making ends meet these days. So, you came here to help him out? Hey, keep it down. Let's just say I prefer to keep this deal a secret. Y'all at Caravan Rebot are like family. If there's more to be made, why not do it together? Besides, Delavar and his friends have muscle. They'd be a good fit for escorting the goods. <laughs> yes, how considerate of you. Delavar's my friend too, so of course I can take you to him. Come with me. All right, I'm a little confused as to the plan. I am confused as to where I'm going, but it's okay.
I mean, yeah. Thank you. It's actually a Kigurumi. It's like a, a full one piece. I look crazy. I look crazy with that, that backup. It is just a big, a big onesie, basically. I have a Luna one too, but I left it at my parents' place. I'm a Gudetama stan. They have muscles, noodle arms, and shit, bro. <laughs> Sipping on who? Uh, uh, uh. Are we uh, there yet? Yike, Aroni. This guy playing games? Yep. This is the place. This place is practically deserted. What are they doing in a place like this? Hmm. <laughs> Why don't you take a guess? Go on, a wild stab in the dark. <laughs> You're like lambs to the slaughter. Bruh. Uh. Oh no, it's an ambush! What an asshole. Uh, what's this all about, Zaki? Come on, Dia. You really think we didn't hear about what you said back in Aru village? The boys have kept a close eye on you from the moment you set foot there. Hmm. Not only do I know that you're looking for Delavar, I also know that you've teamed up with people from the Academia to look for the missing scholars. So, you've been watching us from the very beginning? Uh-oh. I'm a new leaving Sino behind was a mistake. And you left the strongest one in the village, didn't you? Oh no, it's like we have a vision user and a little demigod. Oh no, what will we do? Business deal nonsense. Oh no. So you and Delavar have been partners all along. <laughs> Dia, I guess it's only natural for a traveling mercenary like you to be out of the loop. Those of us who hang face. around the tavern have stronger bonds than you think. But you got one thing right. We're all looking forward to an uprising in Sumeru. There's nothing more we'd like to see than the desert folk overthrowing the Academia. If that's the case, then I'm sure Delavar wouldn't miss a second of it. I'll be honest with you. If it weren't for what you said in the village, your little monologue about the Wall of Samyo would have convinced me that you're one of us. Delavar. And Enger. You're here too, huh? Hmm. Huh. Okay. Long time no see, Miss Mercenary. You should have known the traitors are what us followers of the Scarlet King despise the most. Why you talk like that? Dia, I thought that you, a fellow desert dweller, would understand that the Scarlet King is greater than the Dendro Archon. But little did I know, you don't deserve to join us. <laughs> yeah, gee, what a missed opportunity. Adopting radical views and kidnapping innocent scholars, all because of some baseless rumors. <laughs> Anything else I'm missing out on? See? There you have it. Mercenaries are just a bunch of faithless scum with only one thing on their minds. Mora. Pathetic. You're all like a pack of street rats. You're not wrong. Mercenaries are driven by Mora, and my faith lies with whoever's paying me. As long as there's a profit to be made, anyone can become my friend. Enough talking. Get him. I'm ready. <laughs> Just as I expected. Let's teach him a lesson, traveler. I'm ready. <sighs> Following order. New punchy. Disappear. You're open. Keep. Oh no! Impossible! How could you? Like, bro, be so, for real. What do you think about your meticulous network now, Zaki? How did you say it? It's only natural for a traveling mercenary like me to be out of the loop. I'm guessing your informant told you that I'm just an incompetent merc with no real fighting skills, correct? I mean, that is what I said after all. And of course, you would believe everything he reported. 
The only thing you know about me is that I'm a mercenary. I love her. But you've never seen me in action. I love her. Even though you heard we went to handle monsters together, you believed that Candace was the only one doing all the real fighting. That so-called flame mane is just a fraud. She admitted it herself. She just uses her connections to gain the trust of others. That's what you thought, right? Ugh. You lied in the village because you figured that we'd have people watching you. And you were stupid enough to fall for it. I figured as much the first time we drank together. You all thought you were so smart. Pathetic. Ugh. Oh my god, I love her. Okay, that should be all of them. That was hot. So you've been planning this since we were in Aru Village? No task can be done without preparation. I just happened to notice a couple suspicious looking people while you were out investigating. Oh, but instead of catching them right away, you let them report back. Those two who were snooping around were just a couple small fries. If we want to get the real catch, we have to be patient and give it some time. So those names you mentioned? Oh, you mean the funny names she mentioned back in Uncle Ampu's house? The Wide-Eyed Butcher, Scarborough Bandit, uh... uh Paimon can't remember them all. That's just a bunch of drunk talk. Enger and Delavar like to talk themselves up when they're drinking. Enger the Wide-Eyed Butcher and Delavar the Scar-Riddled Bandit are the nicknames they came up with for themselves. Another day, another slay. Alcohol so true. has a way of making people share what they really think. So Enger and Delavar are always rambling in the tavern about how the Scarlet King is a superior deity. What about Zaki? Hmm. He's just a numbskull who fell right into our trap. Zaki was probably the best hidden of them all. My initial plan was to find Delavar first, and then try to track him down. So who's the ducktail bearded crook? That's what you wanted to ask when we were at Uncle Anpu's house, right? Jabari is one of the villagers you talked to. You know, the one who wanted to treat Isak and his grandpa to some food. Wait, so he's a radical too? Oh. No, he isn't. I just needed to tack on a random villager name to make the eavesdropper think that I was making some wild guesses based on my impressions. Interesting. She's so smart. Oh, what? I love her. That's an expert mercenary for you. Ah, you're too kind. It was straight from the usual playbook, if I'm honest. So, that thing you were saying before, is it really true? Hmm? About what? About how mercenaries only care about Mora. And that anyone's a friend as long as there's a profit. Does that bother you? I don't think you're that kind of person. What makes you so sure? Because even with that employer still helping us out. Uh, Dia, do you dislike the Dendro Archon like the other desert folk? <laughs> you two are pretty sharp. No, I don't have anything against the Dendro Archon. Hmm. I've heard a lot of nice things about the Lesser Lord from Dunyarzad. I can understand her devotion and gratitude. Junior Zad's just an ordinary person. There's no way a god would be so involved in the lives of everyday people unless they were truly compassionate. I've begun to realize that the sages are behind everything that's happened recently. The radicals' blind belief in the Scarlet King, making the Dendro Archon out to be an enemy. It's all the academia's trickery. It's true. It's true. But I see through it all. And unlike them, I can never be hostile towards anyone who's never done anything wrong. Dia. Anyway, looks like we're done with business here. Traveler, lend me a hand. Let's tie him up and bring him to the village. Let's go. Whew. This should be all of them. I'll let you take it from here. Oh, I love her. All right. I'll be in touch. Until then, please stand by. She really dragged them all here. Love that for her. Love that for her. Be okay on her own. I trust her, so you can too. She's been guarding Aru Village for quite some time now. If anyone is qualified to question the offenders, it's her. While I'm questioning them, why don't you pass some time by exploring the area? She's so pretty, I'll meet you bro. Back here tomorrow morning, traveler. Sounds good. 
As for these idiots, let's just hope they live to see another day. We carry one guy, she's carrying like five. <laughs> you know it, you know it. Guys, we're almost at a hundred likes. If 10 of you liked the stream right now, we would get there and then I, and as I know, we'll come kiss you on the mouth. Okay. Hey Mia. Right on time. Did we learn anything from the criminals? <laughs> we'll know any moment now. Raymond's been wondering. You I see the three of you that just gave it a like. That's from Sino. We've known each other for some time now. She's a pretty interesting person. Even though she's an extremely strong warrior, she never misuses her powers against others. Oh, Paimon knows what you mean. Like a lot of martial artists say, never take the fight outside the ring. Yep, I guess you can put it that way. It takes strong convictions to be as dedicated as she is, and shoulder that kind of responsibility. Us mercs, on the other hand, we pretty much live from one day to the next. Well, Paimon thinks you're great, too. No really? spoiler discussions in that's chat. Fair. I will ban everyone. And then I'll have to stop looking at chat, and that's no fun, because you guys are being funny tonight, all right? Oh, Sino's here, and he's pretty early, too. Yes, I was here yesterday to help out a little. To help out? By doing what? Sharing I don't want any hints. Techniques. Nothing. Oh. Nothing. Oh. You mean you taught Candace some more persuasive methods? Right. Come on in, everyone. Come on, let's go inside. Candace, where? Whoa, you look furious. Do I? Huh. What gave it away? Oh, there's no mask that can hide true bloodlust. Cover up your eyes, and it'll still show itself at the corners of your mouth. Perhaps I need to work on my composure. Still, it's perfectly understandable why I'm angry. I'm sure everyone present would agree. Uh, yes, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Please, don't be this anymore. Oh, she would be in the mop! Well, Love that for her. Like taught her well. <laughs> she mastered it really quickly, too. Now she's just as terrifying as he is. You fear death yourselves. Yet you do not hesitate to place the lives of others at risk. <laughs> the absurdity is mind-boggling. The ones you call mad scholars are known to us as the village keepers. They are vital members of our community, and some even count them as family. You come here to my village, and you treat my people as nothing more than stepping stones towards your goal. Tell me, what would you do to you in my position? Uh, mercy! Please mm. have mercy! I love women. I love them so much. <laughs> we may both be desert dwellers, but there is one thing that I understand better than you. The resurrection of the Scarlet King will only result in war. And war serves no one. The people of Aru Village care little about which god is in power. Life may be tough and tiring, but we wish to preserve our way of life. A war would only cause us to lose all that we have. And that is not a responsibility that you can afford to shoulder. You tell him, girly. Uh, we understand. We're sorry. Yeah, cry, little bitch. Cry. Tell everything I know. Please, just let us go. <laughs> yeah, I can't see the chunk, but right now. Uh, you might not believe this, but it wasn't us who came up with this idea. Someone was spreading rumors in the tavern. That's how we ended up hearing about the resurrection. Where's Ahitham? Some 
mystery man told us that mad scholars will make the perfect sacrifice to usher in the Scarlet King's resurrection. Uh, they give their lives, and we can get anything we wish for. Mm. They're called village keepers. Slip up again, and you'll regret it. Uh, yes, sorry. It was oh, all man. He told us to spread word about the Scarlet King's resurrection and talked us into helping him. In return, he said he'll help facilitate the resurrection process. Where are the village keepers now? I'm not sure. That's one. Huh? One what? Strike. You get a total of three. Then, you die by my hand. Wait, I'm telling the truth. We don't know anything. It was all him. <sighs> Two. He got us to lure them out of their houses in the night with some kind of incense. We take them to a junction outside the village. Then the mystery guy takes them from there. <sighs> you gotta believe me, please. I'm telling the truth, I swear. Just ask them if you don't believe me. That was indeed the truth. Traveler, go on. Mm. Mm. You have any idea who the mysterious person might be? You have to believe me. If I knew that, I would have told you his name right away. I'm not risking another beating to keep his secrets. No way. What does he, he look like? Uh, that guy, he wears a cloak, and he's always careful to cover his face. Uh, he calls himself the Scarlet King's envoy. I believe I may know what's going on. Cloak? Uncle is, that, is it Tatori? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Time is out of there. <laughs> Smooth. Okay, speak. If my suspicions are correct, this mystery man they speak of could be from the academia. Oh, man. Some time ago, people from the <laughs> academia <next. laughs> attempted to take the village keepers away. I refused, insisting that they are part of our community. It's got to be the toy, bro. It's got to be the toy. I'm have. telling you that Scaramouche is a Scarlet the King. Like, they're trying to resurrect him or whatever. Trick the radicals into delivering the village keepers right into their hands. Like, that's what they're actually they the trying to do. It might not be with. the Scarlet now King. Trying to take them back. But I think they're we using that. Let that happen. You know what I mean? Not the I don't know if that makes sense. Again. Mm. Yes. Just as I thought. They're using it for, to revive Scaramouche. To make him a god. I just know People it. People are nothing but tools in the eyes of the academia. A change in their plans likely means they found another way to exploit the scholars. <laughs> Regardless, our like top music. priority now is locating the village keepers. You're right. Isak is still waiting for news on his grandpa. Time to go. Let's leave the village and try to track them down. Yes. No, I, I meant like get ready to bring leave. him as a make him a god. I meant call it. He didn't Candace, die. Scaramouche isn't dead. The radicals. Leave everything outside the village to us. No oh. leaks. Let's meet back here once everyone's ready. No leaks. You get bent. You're timed out right now. No leaks. I'm dead ass serious. Well, they're making him an Archon right now, is what I'm saying. He died and he sucks out. I know. Kisses and hugs. Peace. Deuces, bro. Your grandpa's dead. Deuces. <laughs> it's so fucked up. Oh, no. It's a cutscene. Prob oh, it's not. I lied. Hi. He's just doing no. whatever. As you can see. I am merely sitting here and reviewing what we have deduced thus far. He's so annoying. You've been gone for ages, and now you're suddenly sitting here musing to yourself? Where have you been anyway? Oh my God, you're so annoying. Piss me off, bro. You never think things through before asking questions. I'm giving you some time to make up for that. Paimon's gonna give you an ugly nickname! 
<laughs> okay, what is it? Let's hear it. Go ahead, I won't stop you. Damn. I know, he's too hot. Well, you've heard nothing to suggest I left this whole time. So clearly, I stayed in the village to investigate. Anyway, you plan Not to be the village <laughs> searching for the truth of this matter, yes? <sighs> yep. We're not gonna find out anything more by staying here. So we thought that we might as well take the search elsewhere. Bro, can you just f I mean, tell me what's going on already? What? 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 You, why are you so quiet? Enough with the silent treatment! Maybe he's giving us time to think. No. I'm just surprised that you decided to team up with him. Oh my god! Oh, Hatham. You haven't helped us out at all ever since we arrived at Aru Village. Bold of you to question our choices. <laughs> in love with me and the boys they're fighting over me <laughs> did you hear that chat they're fighting over me it's whatever no biggie oh my god it's so hard having this many people just be in love with you oh, it's so difficult being me yeah you're all talk yeah <laughs> oh i didn't press auto sorry while you were investigating i had my own work to do which i've now finished okay <laughs> to be honest, we aren't really a team, so I have no obligation to inform you of my whereabouts. You're salty. That was hanging out with another guy. Separate ways allowed me to find some important information that you all had missed. Uh, Sino, I think. Huh? Right here in the village? Correct. What did you learn? I'm going to take you to someone. But before that, you need to understand where she's coming from. What does that mean? We hit 100 likes? How do you eh, you guys rock. Sino's like kissing doing. all of you on the mouth, if you consent, of course. They probably don't like In it. In other words, do you truly believe every single word the villagers tell us? I guess not. You mean some of them lied to us? Yeah, probably. Hiding the truth does not necessarily equate to lying. Again, these well, that one guy like ran reasons. away from us. I feel like I knew Remember that already. What Candace said, most people in Aru Village don't necessarily care which deity is in charge of Sumeru. That's because whether the Scarlet King or the Dendro Archon has power is of little significance to them. By contrast, the perils of their daily lives are ever present concerns. They won't simply share everything they know with you without good reason. That's why you believe there was no further information to be found in this village. So you're saying we can find the info for someone we've already spoken to? Glad you're following along. Among those you have talked to, there's someone who was consciously keeping you out of the loop. In fact, she's been observing your every move since you arrived. The reason being, to someone who only wants to live their life in peace, any external factors introduce unpredictability into the equation. Ah, those eyes, those fierce eyes. You, you look like a real fighter. It's her. Don't change the subject. It's quite obvious that she's intimidated by Sino's authority and strength. Uh, right. You were asking about the vi I mean, the mad scholars. She corrected herself mid-sentence because she's aware that there are Scarlet King fanatics in the village. If she sounds too friendly towards the village keepers, mm. she could easily make herself the radical's next target. Okay. I think it's been a few days since I last saw them. I usually go to bed pretty early, so I'm not too familiar with what goes on at night. Remember? She made a point of denying her involvement in anything that occurs at night. But honestly... I feel quite sympathetic towards them. Even though they act a little strange, they've helped me in the past. If it weren't for them, my house would have collapsed long ago. Mm. After speaking to the village chief, it became clear that the village keepers had protected Aru village at night. In other words, the young miss was very much awake during that time. Then 
<laughs> Why would she lie? By getting involved with an outsider, she risks drawing unwanted attention to herself. As for why she might be so wary about all this, <laughs> maybe you should ask her. I'll pass on this one. You said that she is afraid of me. If so, it's best if I stay out of this. Hmm. We're on it! All right, let's say hi to her. Miss Shawnee. Hi, Star. As we discussed earlier, I've brought someone with me. <laughs> Mr. Alhatham, I'm aware of where you stand, but how can I make sure that your friends think the same as you? <laughs> I see them down horrendous. What do you want me to say? We need to clarify our stance or something? I'm a woman of class. Go ahead and talk. I can't relate. You'll get the answers you want. Go on. <laughs> Earn her trust. Is okay. It really that uh, may I call you Traveler? Sure thing. Hi, Miss Shani. Uh, hi, Traveler. I want to ask you something. Mm -hmm. Do you think the resurrection of the Scarlet King can truly change Sumeru for the better? No. Why is that? Because it'll only result in conflict. Mm, that's very similar to what Miss Candace says. I know you two are friends. That's why I'm willing to talk to you, even though I do have some reservations. Before, I wouldn't even have the courage to ask something like this. Traveler, do you believe our lives will get better? Hmm. I can't promise anything, but I'll do the best I can. Yeah, we came here from another nation, so it isn't wrong of you to be weary. And we aren't really residents of any one nation. But even so, we've met lots of people from different places, and we've always fought for what we believed in. We have friends in Sumeru, and we want to help them. That's why we decided to stay here for a while. Mm -hmm. I want to trust you. My apologies for posing my questions like that. To be honest, I didn't expect you to come back for more information. Oh, oh the music! It's okay. We understand. The fact that Stop it, Patrick. Only one side of my family is desert folk. I don't really fit in anywhere in Sumeru. Ooh. Some Not tepid. Dendro Archon, while others believe in the Scarlet King, I don't belong to either side. And neither side would want me. Speaking of which, the radicals mentioned that they despise traitors. Do they just think that anyone who's different from them is a traitor? Uh. Yeah. Some people can be so narrow-minded when it comes to bloodline and beliefs. It makes no difference what I say or how I behave. I'll always be suspected of having ulterior motives. Slowly, I just stopped talking to people. I pretended not to hear or see anything. All I want is to live my life in peace. Mm, and then it poor happened. girl. The village keepers who had helped me disappeared with no explanation, and I didn't dare breathe a word about it to anyone. Until now. So spill the deets, spill the beans. You can tell them. I'm sure she'll keep your secret. <laughs> All right. I'll tell you what I told I'll hate them. I Respectfully, why don't he just tell me? Of hearing them most. Sometimes, I hear strange crying sounds in the night. Interesting. <gasps> there are ghosts. Bro. Perhaps. I'm not sure. It's faint, but it's definitely the sound of crying. It comes from far away in the distance, and hmm. always carries very raw emotion. It used to be louder and more frequent. But ever since you arrived in the village, it doesn't seem to happen as often. And when it does, it's much quieter. I have to focus really hard to make it out. I confirmed this with the guards on night duty. They also have someone with a good ear, and he's heard similar sounds Crying. at night. But 
Because we're in the middle of a desert, you would rather believe that they are the cries of beasts than ghosts. Interesting. There's really nothing around these parts, except for an old hospital not far from the village. I think they used to use it for treating Elazar, but it's been abandoned for years. Hmm. We need to check out that hospital. Yeah, let's go. Huh. If you guys want the Discord link, this should work. I don't know. We'll see. If you guys don't have a Discord, that's okay. Oh, sorry. It's a black screen right now for some reason. Might be. I think we have a teleportation point here there. Um, I guess we could teleport here and then go down. Hmm. Also, I am gonna start streaming on Twitch again. So if you guys wanna follow me over there, I'm gonna be doing some more streams over there now that I have some more time. Probably after, no, I don't know. I was gonna say probably after TwitchCon, but probably before TwitchCon. I am going to TwitchCon, I'm very excited. Um, what's the best way to go around here? I guess we'll unlock this. But if you wanna follow me on Twitch, that's also in the description. Um, yeah, it's just twitch.tv slash Lisa Denno. I haven't streamed in a couple of months, but we're gonna be doing some stuff over there, so. Mm -mm -mm. Or if one of the mods wants to grab the link and just paste it in the chat, you should be able to do that as well. All right, guys, I'm so tired, but this is getting interesting. So I simply will not be sleeping until I finish. Thank you, Addy. Oh, oh I wouldn't let you finish talking, Messi. I'm your rider doctor and knows you're a sit. I mean, a truly appreciate person. Okay, period. Exactly. Zhao, so true. So true. Hey, yo. Uh, Raiden would have been good here. I think I'm gonna swap Yelan out for Raiden. Oh, he beat my ass. I'm gonna add Raiden. What were you even expecting? Good question. Uh, guys, he's so he's fine. Guy. Like, come on now. I mean, what? Let's go in and take a look. Yes, sir. I mean, yeah, this sounds like a good idea, I guess. <laughs> Patience. 
Ronnie says she only hears the crying at night. We have time to burn. Until then. Until then. A break. We could take a long break to read, obviously. To read. Okay, sure. Position. Positional propensity of an Assuming the positions for you. Yeah. Picking in the, the kitchen object, and up in the bedroom. Like you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> well, Paimon gives up. You keep reading your book. See ya. Damn. Oh, look at those eyes. Look at him reading mm. an impossible book in a creepy place like this. <laughs> you know it wouldn't kill you to read a book once in a while either. <laughs> hey, That's so Paimon funny. Okay, okay, Paimon's the best. When you don't sleep, the effects start kicking in for real, apparently. I'm losing my mind. Ah, Paimon's getting so sleepy. What the fuck is that? Huh? What was that, Sarah? Who's playing Phasmophobia yeah, right now? He is sobbing! He going through it. I'm sorry, bro. My apologies. Is the sound coming from here? Huh. I don't like the sound of having... It's Scaramouche. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, but there's no way we can get down there. Show me what you got, I'll hype him. Something is off about the interior here. Me sobbing when my alarm wakes me up in the morning. <laughs> hmm. That's gonna be us. As I thought, there's a hidden structure. Wow. It's like they tucked another hospital into this one. Well, it looks like there are other mechanisms around here. Let's keep exploring. I need to equip Traveler. One second. Let's come up with a party with Traveler in it, though, just in case you get into a fight, yeah? No, we can keep you in fourth. Um... Stay close and you will live. <laughs> the hunt begins. Why is Zhao dead? Oh well. Um. Um. Okay. I don't know, that's not okay. to do that. Oh, 
Hello. What was that achievement I just got? Get out of my way. There is no escape. I was being a little risky. I admit it. My B. Sorry, Joe. Yeah, turn into Senora real quick, please, bro, please. Don't say that to me. There we go. Anyways, this sword is so pretty. Oh, the one I had on um, on Traveler. Which one do I have on her? Oh, I have that one. I literally forgot the name. The one I lost the 50-50 to. All right, anyways. What is the situation? Speed running today? No, I'm just chilling. Just trying to get through the, the quest, to be honest with you. Oh, what's that? A radish, bro, are you for real? Case emergency, contact physician on duty immediately. Abraham redacted. Redacted. Man, I'm 23 years old. Left side, forehand, left handed. Interesting. Oh, you guys might like this better. Is this better so you guys can see stuff? I didn't realize that you guys couldn't see, any, see the dialogue. Sorry, I'm missing it. Anyways, that way you can see dialogue better. Might be, might be, guys. Sorry, I usually try to pick this, this layout, but I forgot. I forgot to set it to this. No, I'm over the top right oh, corner. I'll, I'll block there. other stuff. It's okay. Usually this is a good, good height. We need to be careful. Good idea. Let's approach him slowly without a Also, I just want to say, for reference, I have two monitors, right? So I can see the game here and I can see myself in the game here. So if I look over here, I'm not missing anything, okay? You recognize him? You're... Scaramouche! <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. He's a zombie. Speak, and his eyes are unfocused. But he looks too young to be anyone's grandfather. Also, why is he the only one here? Not people. Didn't expect to see him here. You Ew. know him? He's Razak. A senior of mine at the academia. Huh? He's a scholar too? Is he the kind that holds up in a forest and mumbles stuff about training? No. And that's the problem. Razak was never involved in any of those things. He never trained in the forest, let alone reach Satyavada life. So how did he become like this? Leaving that question aside for the moment. 
Him being here alone means that we might be too late. Looks like they've already taken everyone away. For whatever reason, they left Razak here. Perhaps they simply didn't have time to come back for him. Hmm. There are drag marks on the ground. They're clearer by the doorway. Someone was forcefully drawing a cart that was loaded with something heavy. Mm -hmm. Loaded with people? people? That's what I'm thinking. That is one possibility. Hmm. It looks like they were in a hurry, as if they were afraid of being caught. In their haste, they failed to notice Razak hiding in a corner. Uh, he's going through it. The symptoms are identical. Looks like we found living proof. Huh? Why do you say that? Allow me to jog your memory. Recall your time at Port Ormos. Don't you think his symptoms look familiar? <laughs> Yeah. The Aramaic guy went mad. Oh, now that you mention it, they're acting the same way. Mm -hmm. Correct. The academia is behind all of this. It isn't difficult to deduce their rationale. First, mm. the academia spread a false rumor of the Scarlet King's resurrection, emphasizing the role of the village keepers, the mad scholars knew it, who were bro. exiled to I our knew village. It. These rumors were all the persuasion that the radicals needed, and those based in Aru village leapt into action. Unbeknownst to them, of course, through rounding up the scholars, they were actually helping the academia. Bruh. As well as being able to exploit Bruh. the radicals for their own ends, this scheme has one further advantage to the academia. All the risks and responsibilities are offloaded onto the Scarlet King's followers. Life for the desert dwellers has been brutal ever since the Scarlet King's death all those years ago. Beneath the surface, feelings of desperation They are really widespread. preyed upon that. That's Many would crazy. Give they have for the prospect of something better. Anyone looking Yike. to exploit that for their own ends simply needs to make a few empty promises. Yike. Even if complications arise, people will see that those involved are all followers of the Scarlet King and look mm. for no further explanation than differences of belief. Yikes, the bro. Of the and everyone in it by the they rest took of full advantage of that. Of the notion Damn. of an academia plot wouldn't even cross their minds. It may seem like a simple strategy, but it is able to work wonders under Sumeru's current circumstances. Huh? Oh, that makes a lot of sense. It's in line with the village chief's theory, too. But there's still one very important question. Wasn't it the academia that brought the scholars to Aru village in the first place? Why does it want them back now? Throughout this process, one thing has changed. The scholars' identity. First, they were scholars. Then, they became lunatics. After that, they were exiles. And finally, they become missing persons. Mm, I see. An exile is still patently a living, breathing human being. But when someone becomes a missing person, that is brought into question. Mm -hmm. If you can't find someone, you have no way of knowing what exactly happened to them. That makes missing people an ideal resource. Resource? For what exactly? One possibility is that the information in their brains could be extracted into knowledge capsules. Yikes, they're like farming them. Yeah. Ooh. With the technology of hey, the Dory, where are you getting that stuff? It's entirely possible. Perhaps the process caused them great suffering, which is why they cry out in the dead of night. Oh when my no God! One is them. So, the human brain. Nope. Nah. Hyman doesn't want to think about this. How did you learn of this technology? I'm the academia scribe, after all. I'm familiar with their projects. Anyway, mm. judging by Razak's state. The contents of a divine knowledge capsule were extracted from his mind, but something went wrong in the process. Or hmm. perhaps his curiosity got the better of him, and he used such a capsule for himself. But uh, Hyman's a little confused. Can they just use anyone's brain? Hmm. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm, the look mm -hmm. on your face tells me you've realized the answer. The academia needs people who have been exposed to the divine consciousness. That's right. To some scholars, gaining knowledge about the gods is their entire life's pursuit. Extracting canned knowledge is just one of the extreme measures mm. they turn to. However, I can't help but wonder. What do they seek to gain from divine knowledge? I know. The academia is going out of their way to look for forbidden knowledge. But what is their ultimate goal? I've spent quite some time trying to analyze the contents of the divine knowledge capsule, but to no avail. It seems like my way of thinking is too different from theirs. You mean you're not even slightly interested in getting your hands on this forbidden stuff? All scholars seek to expand the horizons of knowledge. But I'm not particularly interested in gods, so I don't share their degree of zealotry. Okay. Extracting information from people as if they were lifeless objects? <laughs> if this is the direction of academic progress, then the academia may as well shut its doors. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you're really against all this. Of course. The academia's actions run contrary to their rules. Mm -hmm. Whether it be academics or knowledge, everything has its boundaries. If those lines are crossed, the rules and order that govern everything in the world will be destroyed. This matter needs to be corrected, just like fixing a typo in a book. Wait, didn't you step in to help because you felt sympathy for those poor people? Not to be callous, but no. My criteria are a little more restrictive than that. There is no shortage of suffering in Sumeru, and the same can be said for the rest of Tibet as well. What do you plan to do about that? Save every last person? No, we don't got time for that. Probably not. Uh, Paimon's not sure. You both are more specific and personal. You can say that. Simply put, I don't blindly place my faith into strength or heroism. I do what I want. All right. The divine knowledge capsule is something I want to Respect investigate it. in full. That doesn't mean I'm willing to take action for the sake of a few strangers. That he rejects the notion of greater moral responsibility justifies his actions because they achieved his personal motivations. Someone like him might actually make for a better ally. Hyman's been wanting to say this for a while. Hmm. There are a lot of bad guys in the academia, but you're not one of them. You're their weirdo. <laughs> you're probably right. Though hmm. I must say, I quite enjoy this feeling of being the odd one out. Uniqueness is also an asset, is it not? Wow. That's a great way to think about it. Paimon's really impressed. If only Miss Shani had a similar mindset, hmm. her life would definitely be a lot easier. I'm just a more likable person than her in general. <laughs> There's nothing more to it than that. <sighs> <laughs> He's such an asshole. <laughs> so what do we do? <laughs> he won't last long if we leave him here. Let's take him with us. We'll work out our next step after we return to Aru Village. Oh, man. All right, guys, let me run to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. Give me, like, 10 seconds. If you're watching the VOD, I don't know. Hopefully, I timestamped it and you can skip it. If not, you just skip a couple seconds, all right? That's not the end of the world. I'll be right back.
I'm back. <sighs> but I can't hear anything all of a sudden. So hold on. The, or did the music just stop? Yeah, the music just stopped. That was odd. My pillow. <sighs> all right, guys. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> you guys are extra weird tonight. I like it. <laughs> I'm, I dig it, bro. All right, our favorite characters. Okay. Zhao is the right answer. Not me crawling. What's going on? I'm so tired, bro. We're back. Can you tell? Probably because I'm losing my mind. You must be tired. You should. I be am, girly. Some water. What's the situation? Hmm. Who's this? Unfortunately, somebody who is too young to take on the role of Isak's grandfather. <laughs> Nevertheless, he's one of the people we're trying to find. Call A stuff, don't get banned. Don't make me do it. <laughs> so, at one point in time, the abandoned Elazar Hospital served as the academia's site for <gasps> extracting divine Kant knowledge. Yep, pretty much. Their plan must have been implemented at some point before we arrived at Aru Village. Since Divine Kant and Knowledge has been in circulation for a while now. <coughs> Yet, they fled once we were headed to the village. Almost as if they knew we were on their trail. Why is that? Huh. Yeah, why is that? We may have a mole in our midst. One of us could be secretly revealing our whereabouts to the academia. Huh? Is it Are the kid? That the child? Hmm. Looks like none of you have realized wherein lies the issue. Care to share your thoughts? Sino, you're the reason why they can predict our movements. Why is that? Why is that? Use your next words very carefully. It is simply a logical inference. I have my reasons. So what you're saying is, Sino's the mole. Interesting. And here I thought you were the most suspicious one I'll hate them, since you were always acting alone. I know. You have a point, but I realized something as we were returning from the hospital. I'm Sino so interested. Isn't like any of us. What are you trying to say? Do you still remember who you are, General Mahamatra? <laughs> As a Matra, you are no doubt privy to certain kinds of information. Before you can take action against someone, you are required to have all the facts available, including the less than savory Don't details. betray me, Sino, I like you. Simply put, the academia has traditionally allowed you access to a wealth of sensitive information. Knowing their modus operandi, wouldn't you expect them to take precautions against you? If you want to raise a vicious wolf, you need to make sure that you can avoid its Is it bite. so this that he's predictable? The academia is monitoring me? It's not that simple. The academia has eyes all over Sumeru, but they have a special protocol for dealing with you. Every so often okay. comes a Nyagarbaha day. On this day, the academia enters new information. Why is this little kid here? Through knowledge capsules. I remember seeing a thick notebook next to the control panel once. Its contents were all about the General Mahamatra. Mm. His activities throughout the day, preferred methods of enacting judgment, everything. You're Your saying that the academia entered my information into the Akasha too? But mm. what's the point in doing that? My actions aren't important enough to be added into the Akasha. The Akasha is capable of computation. <gasps> the Akasha's algorithms are. It can compute his every move, dude. Data entered. 
when you would depart, the route you would follow, your destination. It knew all of this. It predicted my every move. That's crazy. Than you think. That's crazy. So he's not betraying us. Poor guy. I feel bad for him. So that's how it is. Sino adheres to his principles so strongly that he's actually a thorn in their side. Tenacity mm. of will and steadfast faith are worthless to the academia. They need scholars who are easily pliable and mindlessly go after anything Oops, they can sorry, profit yes. from. Sino, don't take it to heart. This just proves how much of a trustworthy ally you are. <sighs> they escaped because of me. Oh, poor guy. Exactly. I have an idea. If they predicted my movements, then I might be able to guess where they went. Whoa, you bounce back fast. There is always an opportunity for safety after danger passes. Oh, so that's how it is! I don't get it now! If the academia is trying to avoid Sino, then the safest place would be. One step behind them. Yep, that's right. They'll want to proceed in the direction opposite of where I'm going. Mm hmm I must go. There's also something I want to investigate. Let's go, guys! After him! Please, wait! I want to go too! Bitch, no. Hmm. You want to go too? If so, you have to promise you'll stay safe. I want to find Grandpa. I promise I'll be careful and not cause any trouble. Can Everyone, we leave him at home? I leave him in your hands. All right. Hey, let's go. Remember to pack some food with you. Simon feels like we're missing someone, though. Hmm. What do you mean we're missing someone? Why are we missing someone? Who are we missing? Am I that dumb? I'll be awaiting your good news. The girl who didn't trust us, but why would she come with us? Red girl, what do you mean red girl? She's coming with us. Do you remember the rot you took? Yes. After leaving the village, we should head to Oh, I guess Daya didn't come with us. She left already? I, mean, I saw her leave, but I thought she was coming with us. Huh. I know the desert like the back of my hand. Is that because you play here a lot? Yep. One time, Grandpa almost got lost in the desert. But I was the one who brought him back. There's something here. What's this? It's buried in the sand. Hmm. Looks like we'll need to roll up our sleeves and do some work. Ugh. The Paimon thought running around everywhere was already enough work. That's not the time for complaining, Paimon. Okay, okay. So, we have to dig it out? Whatever's down there, it looks like it's buried really deep. This is a long ass quest. I thought it was gonna be two hours. Fragments of an academia developed device, something akin to a headset. Looks like there were more than one village keeper. They must have been escorted this way because there are device fragments scattered around here. Let's split up and search the area. Chances are that we'll find other things nearby. <sighs> is this 
this what we're searching for? Looks kind of scary. This looks like the Tatori's mask because it comes over knowledge. the face. How did it end up buried in the sand? That can't have been part of the plan. They must have been attacked along the way. Wait, what? Grandpa, I hope you're okay. Don't worry, uh -huh. your grandpa's gonna be fine. Razak didn't display any signs of starvation or dehydration, which means that they left fairly recently. We should be able to catch up. One more thing. Given that the device had been entirely covered by sand, I believe the attack must have happened prior to the sandstorm. Mm. I agree. Let's keep going. They can't have gone far. Ugh, but running on sand is so tiring. But you're flying, aren't you, Paimon? Is flying over sand tiring too? Ugh. Bro, how? How? Voices over there. It sounds like an argument. Whoa, you have really good ears. Don't get any closer. They'll notice us. Dia's talking with the Aramites? Hmm. Very interesting. Let's listen in. If you had informed me sooner, there'd be plenty of room for us to... You're one of us. We would never lie. Scholars. You don't know as much as I do. You need me to... <laughs> I knew it. That's our Dia. Dia? Why would you... Dia! Hey! What are you doing? This fucking idiot. Huh? Say you'd help me find Grandpa? What? Why are you on their side? She betrayed us? <laughs> well, look who's here. Ain't that something? Uh, this complicates things. You've betrayed Aru Village? So, mm -hmm. this is the great General Mahamatra. Yeah, um... you'd be better off as my assistant than hanging around with this motley crew. Seen for yourself, I have the means and methods, and my ideals are far more admirable than theirs. I'm not the type that's easily swayed, Raman. You of all people should know that. Wait, what's going on, Dia? Whose side are you on here? Shut it, Paimon. It doesn't matter. Whichever side you pick, nothing could deter us from the grand mission of resurrecting the Scarlet King. Once our Lord of Old returns to this land, we will have a new beginning. Face the facts, Raman. It's not gonna happen. You should understand that more than anyone. Have all your years as a merc taught you nothing about placing hopes in a ruler? I'm a desert dweller and a proud follower of the Scarlet King. Whether I live by the edge of the sword or in peaceful comfort, my soul will always carry this conviction. It's not too late yet. The village keep mad scholars aren't going to bring the Scarlet King back to life. You don't understand, my dear lady. Pursuing our faith is our purpose. In life. I'm so confused. Even if the chance of success is one in a million, we must be willing. Why would she do us like that? Even if it'll expose you to the academia, even if they end up disbanding the Aramites, your Aramites, which you've worked I'm so, so hard confused. for all these years? Yes. We've waited a long time for this day to come. The sun and the moon no longer I'm shine here. I'm so fucking confused. All you see now is cracks in this desiccated land. But fate has finally dealt me a hand to play against the academia. With these scholars in our custody, we'll stomp the academia's forces and fight our way beyond the wall of Samuel. Ridiculous. Think about it. The academia controls the entirety of Sumeru. Your powers are negligible in comparison. If you still don't believe me, then try asking these two men. They're also against the academia, but neither of them are as arrogant as you are. You look more like pawns of the academia to me. 
Why would I listen to anything the people of Greater Lord Ruka Devada have to say? Filthy traitors. Your god abandoned all honor and betrayed the Scarlet King. We desert dwellers will never trust the likes of you. Okay. It's impossible to communicate with someone so hostile. Perhaps we should. Do you really believe that by kidnapping the scholars, you'll be able to negotiate with the academia? Ooh. These people have no value as bargaining chips, but I could be persuaded to take their place as your next hostage. These scholars were exiled from the academia. I, on the other hand, am their current scribe and will be a much greater asset to you. Wait, you can't be serious. So, you want to trade places with the hostages, do you? I'm Precisely. So Any wise person will gladly accept my offer. Bro, he's got a plan. I trust that he knows what he's well, doing. That would be bad luck for me. However, I'd get the chance to observe the scholars, perhaps even find out the truth. Hmm. <sighs> Interesting. Think you can talk me over with that confident look of yours. I'm not trying to persuade you. I'm using this as a means of joining forces against the academia. You are the scribe. What do you have against the academia? Not all desert dwellers believe in the Scarlet King, and the same applies to the Academia. Why must all knowledge seekers approve of the Academia's way of doing things? <laughs> you Academia scum. Every last one of you is nothing but a hypocrite, just like everyone else on this the other side of that stupid. wall. I've made myself clear enough. I will listen to another word from the Dendro Archon's people. Okay, I'll just Not kick so your fast. ass then. I'll hate them. Do you stand by everything you just said? <laughs> I never make empty promises. You know you're making a dangerous decision, right? I do. Good. Raman, hear me out. These people are my friends. Maybe you can't take the followers of the Dendro Archon at their word, but what about me? Do you trust me? We've known each other for years. Of course I do. In that case, I'm willing to vouch for their honesty with my right arm. Uh, <sighs> Come on, Raman. Don't be a coward. If you're serious about taking on the Academia, you need to steal yourself. You can't be afraid. Uh, an arm from the flame main. You've piqued my interest. But what if you refuse to oblige? What should I do then? No one's a fool here, Dia. We're mercs. And mercs don't tend to live long unless they have their wits about them. Huh? You're not wrong, but this is different. I promised my friends that we'd bring back the village keepers together. Uh, let's do it right here then. Give me your right arm as proof of your resolve. Uh. He just wants to make things more difficult. Mm, that's fine. Are you crazy? We came here to save lives. One arm for that many people is still a pretty good deal, if you ask me. Raman, I'm holding up my end of the deal here. You'd better not let me down. Sure. Go ahead and cut off her right arm. Ah! Huh? You cannot be serious. What are you gonna do? Think of something! Hmm? Huh? You don't have to go this far. That's not for you to decide. Why are we do doing it. this? You cannot be serious, bro. Stop. He was just testing her. What's wrong? Can't do it? Flame Mane, you and I are both desert folk. Cutting off your arm is no different than cutting off my own fingers. He was just testing her. He was just Where's testing her. the sense her? in cutting my own kin to pieces? 
You've shown me that you're serious. Go on now, take your friends and leave. Meet me in the desert at noon tomorrow. Can we get rid of this kid, Stu? Or this kid, too? I'm tired. I don't want to deal with him no more. God, it's been four hours! This is so long! Oh, man. How are we holding up, chat? This is a long one. It's a good one, though. I was really counting on him not going through with it. Get wait, creepy. Have you all lost your minds? What if he'd actually cut your arm off? Hmm. Then I'd just have to hold my claymore with my left arm. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. But sometimes when you're out on a limb, you gotta double down to seal the deal, you know? Yeah, yeah. Don't ever make a promise like that again. I can deal with the likes of them. If it came down to it, you would not lose to them either. I don't doubt it, Sino. But this is about more than me and them. There's a lot more where they came from. Even if we got mm. rid of one bunch of radicals, there are others out there. Wiping them out would do more harm than good. <sighs> As you wish. I'm sorry, Dia. I should have stayed put and listened. I should have Yeah, that's why we need to get rid of you. It's okay. I promised you I'd help find your grandpa, so I'll do whatever it takes. Whatever Children, it takes. bro. <laughs> you just might be scholar material. Huh? Are you serious? The Eremites once said that I was a lunatic. Perhaps a little madness is essential to be successful in research. Why does it feel like he's using his praise for me as an excuse to brag? <laughs> <laughs> That's just how he is. <laughs> okay, let's get moving. We should head back to the village oh, man. Today was just a trial run. Noon tomorrow is going to be the hard part. I'm going to need, like, respectfully, I'm going to need to wrap up, though, because I my eyes are going to fall out of my head. There's no way of knowing. Okay. No way of knowing. <gasps> Give me the boss fight, bestie. Let me heal real quick, too. God, I'm so tired. Viewpoint. What's the time? Six. Take a little break, we don't mind. It's all right, I'm gonna finish it for you guys. Maybe drink some water. I don't want, if I drink more water, I'm gonna have to pee again and I'm trying not to take that many breaks. So don't worry about it. You tried joining the Discord and it just like the link doesn't work? Here. Um, maybe that one will work. All right. Let's go. <sighs> They're all here so early. Looks like we have everyone here. Isak, are you sure you want to come with us? No! I'll watch from a safe distance. Dia, I want to be there to bring Grandpa home. This kid, okay. bro. Okay, let's go then. Dia, wait. What's the matter? I heard that you were quite reckless yesterday. No more of that today, understood? Or I'll be very upset with you. <sighs> Fine. This kid pissing me off, respectfully. Oh my god, this shit is hella far! All right, here we go, chat. Yeah, everyone yell at Leah for not unlocking the map ahead of time. I was gonna leave you alone.
Whoa. This map is so big, bro. is massive. <laughs> Zhao and his little legs so cute. <laughs> Say so you and Yalan. Uh, I know, but we're almost there. You know? Why are the tumbleweeds move? Oh. Interesting. I'm gonna cry because you haven't unlocked it. My my deepest apologies. Don't mind me. You are Just passing through. Hey, you are not welcome here. Oh shit. We are very close to the pyramid. This map is massive. This thing is huge. Oh my god. Whoa! The weather is a little different over here. I don't really want to fight right now, like respectfully. Whoa, you look crazy though. Do I have to go behind it? Okay. Mm. This place is huge, I know, right? Did we really have to meet all the way over here? Like respectfully? Kind of giving Conria, but like aesthetic, I'm dead. We're so close, but so far. I'm so tired. We're close! We're very close. Mm -hmm. 
Does this feel like an area that we like shouldn't be? Interesting. here before us. Uh-oh. Is it because Paimon overslept by five minutes and held everyone up? You didn't have to admit that. Is everything ready? Absolutely. Although, you brought fewer people than I imagined. Mm -hmm. Bring him over. Is that like his grandpa? Why is there only one of them? Ramon? I've always thought of you as a man of his word. What's this about? It's a one-for-one one exchange. Sounds fair, don't you think? No. Let me put it this way. Agreeing to any kind of deal with the Dendro Archon's people is already a huge compromise on my part. Don't you think you've asked enough? No. Uh-uh. <sighs> you stay right there! Fight! Oh, it's a, it's a cutscene. Shaking. Wait a second. It's a earthquake. <laughs> Shout out, fucking Kisanali, bro. This day's going just great. <laughs> what a nuisance. The sand dune collapsed. I saw an energy field. The village keeper protected us. It glowed green with Tentro. <laughs> just like you said, it may well have been the remains of Lesser Lord Kusanali's power inside the scholar's body. No doubt. You finally believe the me. The Dendro Archon. The present one. Grandpa? Grandpa? Oh no. He's getting confused again. Hey, look around you. Mm hmm. Did there used to be a temple here? Look like it. it Looks seems like that it. When the sand dune collapsed, it exposed these underground structures. The symbols on the gate belong to the Scarlet King civilization. This structure must be ancient. Over time, the sandstorms completely buried it and left it in the state we see now. It could have been an underground palace in the distant past. Oh, a miracle. Praise Someone God kill God this God. man right now. What are you doing here? And his men too? They must have fallen down here with us. Pretty lucky if you ask me. Uh, uh. Most of them seem in really bad shape, except for him. He got off lightly. <laughs> Mind your head. No, no, this isn't the time for conflict. Our exalted lord has shown us the way to his sacred palace. Uh, he's not actually gonna go in there, is he? As it mm -hmm. happens, I want to take a look inside too. <laughs> you guys hate this Don't child. Don't you think it's curious? One minute, Lesser Lord Kusanali's power protects us from harm. 
and the next, remnants of the Scarlet King's civilization appear. Two major deities are vying to showcase their power to us. It would be a shame not to witness them both. Hmm. I thought you weren't interested in gods. Hmm. Indeed. In my view, gods are just a higher form of living being. Or creature, you could say. Hmm. New discoveries are always worth investigating. Whether they have anything to do with gods is neither here nor there. All right, let's see what the heck is going on. What are you going to do about your men? I'll just let them lay here. The Scarlet King will take care of his people. Right this guy's delusional, for real. Inside. All right, let's go in. <laughs> Domain time! All right, I think we're good. We haven't done a domain this entire quest. Sounds serious. Ugh, I'm waiting for the the next cutscene, bro. It's full of life here. This defies comprehension. It looked completely desolate from the outside. Yet it flows with energy inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's so many plants. It's so pretty. Sir Raman. Huh? Me? <laughs> Do you see another Raman here? <laughs> I love him. Mocking me? What do you mean, sir? Interpret it however you want. But there's something I'd like to draw your attention to. While this structure is clearly left over from the Scarlet King civilization, the energy that flows in here is that of the Dendro Archon. <sighs> Whatever you say, it's not like I have a vision. Yeah, there's obviously. There's nothing to be angry about. Think of this as an academic journey. It does seem kind of strange. If that's true, then we might have to explore this whole area to find an explanation. Oh, God. Oh, look at these. It's a puzzle. Look at the Haws of Mortal and listen to King Deseret's holy guidance. What? Feel like maybe I have to keep going? Hmm. I'm a little bit confused, love. Above us? No. Guys, what do you think? I'm tired. I'm confused. I honestly I'm, I'm not I'm not the the brightest right now. I'm like Oh well I'm just gonna keep doing that until I get it right. Alright. I just I thought there was like more a little bit more to it, but I guess Oh interesting. Oh interesting. Oh, I did it, so. Okay. That's not what I meant to do. Thank you. 
Whoa. My primos are good. I have a lot of um, wishes. I don't remember how many I have left, but I got Sino on my first uh, temple. So, not a lot to complain about this time. I got streamer luck for once. On him, the guy that's in the portraits. There is no escape. Inazuma shines eternal. Eek. Come on, Raiden. Illusion shattered. Elevator will descend to the ground and get on top of it before it starts ascending again. Wait, say that again? Okay. Um, elevator will descend to the ground, get on top of it before it starts ascending again to reach the dome. I think I understand now. Okay, I think I get it. I think I get it. I think I get it. I go back up. Oh, I understand. I understand. I understand. Okay. Good morning from Spain. Good morning. Good morning from Texas. All right. Okay, we can do this. Wait. Wait for it to go down. I did it! I'm a genius. Now what? What are these? You look important. Oh! Shit. Okay. That's not what I want to do. There is no escape! Got it, okay.
Wait, I'm just going back down. Oh. Never mind. This is. I'm so. Sucker. Whoa. It's a sight to see. The Scarlet King's splendor surrounds us. There's so much vegetation here. It's different than what I expected. There are a lot of plants for a desert. <laughs> That's what I call divine providence of the Scarlet King. Oh no. <gasps> it's the tree! But now we're only traveler? It's getting brighter. Oh, it looks so beautiful. Wait. What's that? It's you! A load of flowers! <laughs> and it looks like there's something among them. It looks like a tomb. Oh, these are Scarlet King runes. They <sighs> left something behind. Hmm. Yes. It's an elegy written in an ancient script. What does it say? Here lies our faithful priest, Kasala. His wisdom is a miracle among the people, deserving of high praise and admiration. You can read ancient Scarlet King script? Of course. Every student needs to master at least 20 languages before they graduate. <laughs> He's not serious, right? There's still something off about this place. The elemental energy here is too concentrated. The scent of life. Is it trying to tell us something? Hmm. Is this it? Analyzing. Hmm. Huh? There seems to be a hidden message among these skeletal remains. Excellent. There's a device from the Scarlet King's civilization in this gravesite. I'll transmit the information over and project it for everyone to see. Isn't sharing knowledge against the academia's rules? Bro, shut the fuck up. Yes. However, under the circumstances, I'd prefer you to see this for yourself. You'll understand after watching it. Cutscene! Civilization is born of knowledge. But so too can knowledge be its demise. A disaster caught us unaware. It was knowledge that did not belong to this world. The Scarlet King brought this forbidden knowledge into our world, and it quickly spread like a plague. People's minds were filled with crazed whispers. Dark gray scales spread across their bodies. Even the land was stripped of its vigor. Only a desperate, deathly silence remained. Were it not for greater Lord Ruka Devata from the forests, the damage would have been irreversible. Wow! She summoned the priests to build so temples pretty. and infused into them the divine power of life. The disaster was miraculously tempered and the embers of our civilization were preserved in Aru village. Alas, the miracle could not last. As long as forbidden knowledge continued to exist, it would forever blight this world. In the end, the proud king of the desert, my eternal lord, chose to sacrifice himself. I have spent my whole life since guarding one of these many temples. But now, my duty is coming to an end. As I close my eyes for the final time, the sight of that noble deity will appear in my vision once more. 
In helping the Scarlet King to eradicate forbidden knowledge, she exhausted her strength, and her form became that of a small child. How strange. Now that I think of her, I no longer have any fear of death, for I sense that the spirit of life will abide with me during my eternal sleep. Children of the desert, cling no longer to wow! past grievances, but hold tight to the memory of this act of benevolence. So magical. What was that? Oh, that was wonderful. I love that. That's so cool. Priest's memories. No, impossible. Yeah, yeah. Greater Lord Wukadevata. So the former Dendro Archon and the Scarlet King were never enemies at all. So Wukadevata became this doesn't his make any sense. Interesting. Dendro Archon's followers. They're yeah, clearly. shut up. Was that the former Dendro Archon? He became so tiny in the end. Yeah, uh huh. You might be distrustful of the Akasha, but there's no reason for you to doubt the Scarlet King's technology. You've just witnessed his priest's last words. I've never heard about any of this before. Yeah, you're just an idiot, bro. The Anyways, followers of the Scarlet King all gathered in Aru village. Our God did not make mistakes. We refused to believe any of the rumors. The Scarlet King's death. The all but total annihilation of our civilization. It was all Greater Lord Ruka Devata's doing. Okay, bro. is nothing more than a traitor. Who stabbed us in the back in our moment of crisis. <laughs> Just like us humans. Fighting. Feuding. Double crossing each other to survive in the desert. You were blinded by your prejudice. Mm hmm. <laughs> if I hadn't seen this for myself, if I hadn't witnessed his last words with my own eyes, ears, and heart, how could I ever begin to accept this? The truth is so far from what I've always known. Am I really supposed to believe that after all these years, all this time seeking revenge, suddenly now my enemy is my savior? Uh, Raman, Jesus. that's enough. Give it a rest. You're starting to make a fool of yourself. Dia, tell me, my Aramites and I, what are we even fighting for? Nothing, dumbass. Hey, how you doing? Eh, I'll live. <laughs> Thanks. I should probably go. Can't just stay here forever. What's your next move gonna be? Oh, I know what you're going to ask. I feel deeply ashamed of everything I've done. You'll get everything you're asking for. But please, uh, give me some time. After everything that's happened here today, Somehow, I need to explain it to the others. It's not gonna be easy. Well, I guess that's for me to deal with. The, uh, this is where our camp's located. Make a note of it. Okay. When would be a good time for us to go? Tomorrow. I'll convince everyone that we're all on the same side. All right. And I'll return every last one of your mad, uh, sorry, your village keeper. We'll share our other resources with you too. You anyway, to sorry I kidnapped those people. Lol. Enemy is the sages? Yes. The gods never gave up on anyone. Leah looks it's tired as fuck. I am very tired, but I'm really excited to finish this quest. So we're gonna push through. It's almost. It's two thirty a.m. for me. So. Raman's no fool. Being the leader of your own faction in the desert is no easy feat. It's too bad he was held back by his belief in the Scarlet King. But now that that's changed, I guess we have a few more people on our side. So turn for the better. The outcome at least is favorable. We should get going too. 
Let's head back. Have a proper meal. <sighs> Let's go. You good, Sino? Mm. Sino, we're leaving. Stop yelling. Let's go. Oh, brother. Oh, man. It's almost the end? Okay. We're getting there. Ah! I'm having a good time. I'm just tired. What's the best way to go over there? Probably to go through here, this road. Right way, right? Yeah. No spoilers, guys. Please, just let me. We're so close to the end, so. Just literally nothing, all right? I didn't stay up this late for nothing, all right? If you guys spoil anything, and I mean literally like a tiny little thing, I'm gonna ban you from the channel. And then you can't watch any of the videos either, so you'll be fucked. Let's, please don't make me do that, all right? We're so close. Uh, I think it's three, right? I don't remember. What are we on? Oh no, I'm stupid. We're starting four? That was fucking dumb of me. Sorry, guys. I don't know. All I know is I'm tired. Guys, give me, come me some slack, okay? I worked like all day today. The booster kicked my ass and I'm still here at 2.30 a.m. All right. I don't want to fight. I just want to. You look like fallen Chi Chi. I don't know what to say to that. Hopefully you'll get some rest out of this quest. Yeah, I'm gonna sleep in tomorrow. Two thirty AM, you know it. I've been streaming for almost five right hours. Everything's been arranged. Someone will bring the village keepers back to Aru village shortly. I guess all I can say now is, thanks for agreeing to help. Ah, don't mention it. I think we can both agree <laughs> and we to have yeah, exactly. back for it. <sighs> but we share a common cause now. From here on out, we're allies. Where are the perpetrators? I'll bring you to them. Follow me. So these are the people who kidnapped the village keepers. Oh no, it's the scribe! There's no need to yell. No one can help you now. <laughs> I've been all over the desert trying to find you! 
That's right. Mm. General Mahamatra? No, no. Make it quick, please. Swift and painless. Whoa. The moment they set eyes on Sino, they turn pale like they've seen a ghost. You should have known that I would be coming for you. Wait, we were just following orders. You know what I'm talking about, right? There's no way we could have done all this by ourselves. No, not Sino. He's gonna tear us limb from limb. I could do worse. Ugh, oh, he's so... Start mm. talking. Otherwise, I'll have to resort to other methods. So, your superiors uh, have kept I might be tired, but I'm never too tired to simp. Why? What? What are they trying to accomplish? Mm. Uh, they, um, wanted to extract canned knowledge. Don't play dumb. You know what I'm really asking. They extract divine canned knowledge. Then what? They're... I, I, I don't, really don't know how to explain it. <sighs> you better start talking or you'll be sorry. For real, like, You don't want to make stutter. things any more difficult for yourself, do ya? May I ask them a question? Be my guest. The sages are trying to create a new god, aren't they? Huh? Uh-huh. That sure didn't sound like a fancy metaphor or anything. You're serious, aren't you? How did you know? There's no use hiding it now. Yes, you're right. The academia is working on an important and potentially world-changing project. They are creating a new god. A god that will belong to them and to the people of Sumeru. Idiots, it may bro. Seem as Idiots. If Sumeru's academics are thriving. But ever since the death of Greater Lord Ruka Devata, scholarly breakthroughs have been few and far between. The withering of Ermin's soul has been getting worse recently. Mm. The sages have tried everything they could think of, but nothing's worked. I'm always hearing them say things like, if only Greater Lord Ruka Devata was still with us. Mm. Continue. And then. Mm. Someone from the Fatui showed up. They called him the doctor. He brought a, a, a gnosis and said he wanted to borrow the academia's research. So Scaramouche working with the Fatui the again? Because I know he disappeared, they the said, academia. but at I first, guess not. The sages looked down at him in disdain. But when he said those words, everyone's <sighs> expression changed. He asked them, do you wish to create a god? This is what the <sighs> area of ignorance at the extreme end of academia looks like. They're fucking crazy, bro. First, the Academia spent a long time constructing a divine vessel, which was based on an exquisite humanoid puppet. After that, they yep. harvested dreams via the Seb Zerus Festival Samsara, maximizing the Akasha's output. With the Doctor's help and the Akasha now functioning at maximum efficiency, they were Who's able Gnosis to, though, to, to extract the power from the Gnosis and convert it Scaramouche into a has Raiden's core. Gnosis. Next, they decided that their new god needed to possess divine wisdom for that to happen <sighs> they needed a huge quantity of divine canned maybe the tori betrayed saritza that's interesting up. but how do you determine what i know does the saritza condone this divine origin is that why the fatui well, hasn't been guess. seen the just a tori maybe the fatui is not on board centuries, but to no avail nobody can hmm. explain the cause of this phenomenon uh, surely you can see what that implies scribe al -Haytham. If it's knowledge no mortal can comprehend, then it must be something only gods are able to decipher. In other words, it's the source of the god of wisdom's omniscience and omnipotence. Hmm. All right, let's beat it up. Yeah, yeah. You must have noticed by now. The academia doesn't care about who their god is. It's the ability to exercise control over knowledge and wisdom that matters. Yep. It is as if they are cursed with a desire for omniscience and omnipotence that burns in their blood. Some organisms demonstrate phototaxis and thus orient their entire lives in respect to sources of light. For the sages, their only source of hope is the existence of a deity who embodies the acme of wisdom. This is but a form of phototaxis. For many scholars, the absence of a god of wisdom means stumbling in the darkness for the duration of their lives. Then mm. what does Lesser Lord Kusanali mean to you? Is she not a true god present in this world? If you already have a new god, why try to create another one? 
From the beginning, the Academia has never treated her as a god. When the Academia first discovered Lesser Lord Kusanali, the newborn god of wisdom, the sages hoped that she would be as wise as... Sorry, I'm not commentating much, guys. I'm just Upon trying to absorb all the information. That that <laughs> she no more intelligence than any ordinary human child. Sages Alexa, corner, 90%. This forced them to accept that greater Lord Ruka Sorry, guys. ...had indeed passed away. She was telling me to go to bed. Not it's too late. that Lesser Lord Kusanali's gnosis had been used to power the Akasha this entire time. By herself, she has neither an Archon's raw power... Nor the spectacular oh, insight okay. expected of a god of wisdom. Slowly but surely, people began to forget about her existence. Mm. So, this is the path the sages have chosen. Sages suck, bro. Even now, they still refuse to acknowledge Lesser Lord Kusanali. Yep, never imagined a god could be subjected to such All cruelty. Right. Let's try to keep our cool. If everyone's in a bad mood, then let's change up our scenery. Raman, give me a few men to help us escort the village keepers back to the village. And these two scholars, they're coming too. Sure, as you wish. All right, let's go back. We are running in the circles today. It's okay though. I feel like we're getting close to the end now. I feel like it. I can't, this is a long one. I mean, I'm not complaining. We're getting some good content right now, but I am. A tired. I'm so tired. The village keepers you found have all been returned to their homes, and each one has a dedicated caregiver to look after them. The two new scholars are being kept under close supervision, too. Really great work, everyone. Uh, the atmosphere is so heavy. Mm-hmm. Come on, is there nothing left to talk about? In that case, let's all get some water and try to think about something else. I'm trying to think or about the boss fight. I can go fetch some snacks. Oh, Paimon's so coming with you. Do you have any plans, Traveler? Gods above, you're not talking about work, are you? I want to share everything I know with all of you. Hmm. So you were still withholding some information? Yep, I'm sorry, I had my reasons. Why he acting like he hasn't been doing that this whole time? Also, if you guys like the video, the stream, can you give it a little like for me and my tired eyes? Mm. Okay. Even though we lived through all of this firsthand, it still feels super surreal to hear you talk about it again. That's everything we've experienced so far in Sumeru. A whirlwind of a story. Felt like I was holding my breath the whole time. It seems like there will be more issues to face in the days ahead than I had anticipated. Hmm. I stream still, and I make some videos. Now's a good time to make our next move. Now that Raman's joined us, we'll be an even stronger so you team. Subscribe button. It's time to make a plan. <laughs> Mostly been streaming lately, though. Indeed, these events are a flagrant transgression of the rules in every sense. We cannot allow it to continue. So, everyone, are we on the same page? Crush the sages, and rescue our god. That is our ultimate goal. I will do my utmost. Well, Let's brainstorm a little more about what other resources we can draw on. The next time we gather here, we must have a solid plan. Yep, it'll work out for sure. in the last one either dudes just standing around uh -huh. I there wasn't really any fighting 
This one. All right, well, you know what? I guess now we wait. Man, I was expecting something at the, like a fight or something at the end. Oh well, a little cliffhanger. We're definitely gonna fight Scaramouche next, but you know, we'll get in the next the next little next little update, I guess. I guess. Um, or in the next half of the update. I don't know. But if you guys wanna know and wanna see me react to whatever the next thing is, please hit that subscribe button. Give the video a like. I don't know, bro. Give me a follow over on Twitch. If you had a fun time, I am so tired. But I'm so glad I got to hang out with you guys. You guys have been an absolute wonderful chat. I'm very lucky to have met so many of you today. So many fun new faces. Um, if you're interested in joining the Discord, stay chatting with each other. Anything you want. Um, that's the Discord. You can also follow me on Twitch. Um, everything's in the description, but twitch.tv slash I'm going to be streaming over there more. Hit that subscribe button. Yeah, I'm just going to say the same, same things over and over again. I love you guys very, very much. I hope you guys had a great time. Get some sleep. I know some of you are in normal time, but for all those of us who stayed up late, let's get some sleep, all right? Um, and I'll see you guys very soon. All right. Love you guys very much. I'll see you soon. Have a great rest of your day or night, wherever you are. And I'll see you during the next quest. Or maybe on a Twitch stream doing other super stuff because clearly I need to explore. All right. Bye, guys. See you later.